He knows what he's doing, too. <laughs> oh, even the bullets look different. <sighs> okay. Not slimmer. Stream is starting up. Yes. Alright. Just because uh, I want to get stuff set up. I'm updating this. Oh! Oh, that was cool! That was a fast fucking update. <laughs> oh my god! They really updated the bomb. I'm gonna have to jump into a uh, test run. Fuck with the phys or the new physics engine. This guy knows how to fucking mm. play, man. Like he is flying real low. He knows. I'm almost freaking done with the helmet I've been working on, and uh, I, I'm right now I'm going through and uh, cutting a piece out for the visor of the helmet, and uh, oh man, my I feel a callus building up in my finger. Yeah. Yeah, I'm using an exacto knife, and goddamn. Yeah, yeah, the exacto knife have that. Uh, I have really, that really need like some sort of padded or rubber grip. Oh my god. Just dip it in flex seal. Wait, how do I change the oh the chat avatar is small? There we go. <sighs> By the way, are we just going to hang out in members, or shall we jump down to D and D? Sorry, really matter how Panda gets here anyway, but we can. Okay, Padley, you were missing all this goodness. Yeah, well, goodness. Well, they updated the sonic boom sound, which is sounds amazing. Hmm. And also, I was trying to show you the fire multiple times, and you weren't watching. I was fucking stirring soup. I said I'd be back. <laughs> I wasn't listening to you. I know, that's the problem. <laughs> well, yeah. You know, I'm going to J out and do some plain stuff. Padley, I will show. God, even that looks crispy clean. Shit! I'm going to tank to play. I'm mad. But not that. Yeah, this game's probably going to look spooky good for you, Padley, since you actually have RTX. Oh, yeah, they have that on now, huh? Yeah, DLSS 2.0. Shit, I'll have to give that away. I just, I'm going to have to get myself back in the main mentality of wanting to play Bro, this. You don't even have to, like, play more than a round. I know, I'll just see it, but, like, I don't want, I don't, I'm not just going to, like. There it. was! Oops. Yeah. Yeah, like your game, but, yeah, like, I'll. I'm sure I'll come back to it. You know what's been killing you about this game, though? Like, and I know it's a pretty old complaint. The fucking economy is just squeezing my balls dry, dude. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Same. Like, it's so annoying. Like, they try... They, they're so fucking scrungy about making you buy more Silver Lions. It pisses me off. Yup. This is true. Oh, yeah, they got new uh, gun physics here. I'll see if I can show that. Brian, why is your guy so loading? Uh, why is your guy loading? Whoa! Oh, cool. <laughs> you're, not, well, you're, an, you're an orange box for me. Um, I don't know. I think I clicked something yeah, to allow did this whole stream. That's cool. Allow access to, and I might be like talking through or having my webcam on in there. I don't know. Oh shit! You got the D the uh, the D and D overlay. I like it. Oh, oh yeah. Oh my god, this just looks so crisp. Well, All right. Oh, the, the game. Oh, yeah. That, that, oh, wow. Even even over freaking uh, Discord stream, it looks really clean. Why is it so clean looking? What? The, your Discord stream is like oh, super it's looking clean. Good? Super yeah. clean. Oh shit. Oh fuck, I don't want to be at night. It, it just needed the update, I guess. Well, they did say that there was frame rate improvements coming with the new version. They like re almost I think they said they almost completely redid the engine. Isn't it still supposed to be streaming in 720? Because No, it's streaming at source. 
I'm bringing it up because I. Can you do this in three minutes, Bird? I'll try to do it like right here. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna see what the fuck. <laughs> Once Padley's done stirring his soup. I'm uh, putting up a shotgun mic so that Mand and I don't get weird fucking echoes. Oh, <laughs> mm. all right. So far, this Jeez, looks about the same. Add his character. Oh yeah, Padley. Wait, okay, before I take off, I want you to see this. They actually added, like, wing wo wobble. Oh, yeah, I saw, that, uh, I saw that in a post. It looked really fucking good. Now you can actually tell when your plane's about to rip itself apart. Well, yeah, that, and I think they said they also introduced turbulence. Oh, cool. You have to get into VR and do sim again, because that was really fun. And that would be yeah. a lot better now. Maybe. I, I'm going to have to mute for a second, because I'm going to try to switch my mics out. Yeah, huh. Are you guys getting game sound too, or not so much? I have it muted, so I don't hear. Okay, so this is pretty much the same. Not seeing a whole lot of wiggle wobble on the wings there. Is there a way to turn down the box here and roll twenty? What now? All right, there we go. Let's... Figured it out. Never mind. Okay. Drop a bomb on these most chakras. Oh. The music is loud on Roll20. I wanted to make sure I could actually hear people talking. Oh. Uh, Alright, I'm going to drop a bomb on these most rockers. I know they updated the... the uh, bomb graphics. Yeet. I hit the water. Um, redo. <laughs> Fun fact, bomb traveling at 500 kilometers an hour tends to overshoot the target. All right, here we go. You yeah, have fun there. All right, there it goes, looking good. Oh, by the way, um, was there a setting oh, for that? So, uh, so you would use the different type of measurement that we were using in the other yes, thing? Yes, there was, there was. Padley figured it out, like, um, our last, like, two sessions. <laughs> like, two sessions from our last one or something like that. <clears throat> what? I missed something here. What now? It's something about roll twenty. I'm gonna... I got you. Oh. Ooh, he... Where is it's the measuring tool? Wobbly. There. Nap to center. Always with the network error. Let's turn around and get some supersonic on this bitch. Well, I guess it kind of works if Cheese's character is um, no picture, no name, if he's going to be late. <laughs> Surprise character coming in at you. Yeah, right. All right, let's see if the sonic boom sound changes. Now he's going to materialize from the air and be like, hi, I exist now. <laughs> yeah, right. Ah! <laughs> no! Lost web. Come on, baby, keep up speed. Ah, damn, we're not quite fast enough for supersonic. Okay. All right, new plan. Oh, wait, that's right. I'm not seeing too many wibble, but wibble wobble phys 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 physics on the wings. In fact, I'm not seeing the wings move at all. Right, loading character. Haha. -ha. Let's go supersonic this time. <clears throat> ah. Ooh, by the way, does anybody me. want to see the helmet? It's yeah. not quite done yet, but uh, I will gladly show what I'm on right now. And uh, I should be able to get the lens in, to, uh, lens visor in tomorrow, I think, if I can't get it done tonight. Let me go grab the helmet real quick. All right.
or on my Twitch stream, or... Eh, I mean, I can show it on both the Discord and Twitch stream for the hell of it. One moment. One moment. Actually, I need to use the restroom real quick. Oh, fix it. Quick. And we are... Super... Not Sonic. Damn it all. Not quite enough web. All right, here we go. Supersonic time now. Okay, Mach. Nine six, nine seven, nine eight. Come on. <clears throat> nine nine. And we are breaking. Eh, another new sound. Bummer. <laughs> Don't know when what wibble wobblies. I wonder if this one doesn't have it. Okay, bye, Padley. Bitch. Uh, like. Oh. Long. Never mind. <laughs> He's doing mic shit. Yeah. Mic shit, mic shit. I'll slow down a little bit here. Oh, even that looks good. <sighs> Your gun is jammed. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. All right. We're going to drop a bomb right about. Well, Got these new look at oh, look at it go! Cool guy, you, you, you failed it. You're not a cool guy. He looked at it. <laughs> nah, dude, I want to see the new explosion physics. They look so good. I know. I'm, I'm just dicking with you. <laughs> I'm just dicking with you. <clears throat> Hello, I am back. Can you hear me? Yes. No, I cannot hear you. Oh, maybe. <laughs> uh, oh, Bradley shit. And the Mando figuring out the audio setup. Yeah. Probably. Okay. Most but let's let give them a few and then we'll go ahead and join the D&D &D voice channel. Oh, look at the little explosions. They look so much better now. Oh, my God. Oh, it all looks so good now. That is some pretty good graphics, I want to say. Yeah, this the engine update definitely did this game a lot of favors. They must have even like done something to improve the streaming capabilities of this, because holy Bird damn. Bird was saying something about that. Yeah, I think they said that the engine redesign was supposed to reduce system resources. Okay. All right. Looks like I got a bunch of. Oh, look at the little gun flashes! They look so it, but... much better. Oh, I'm so happy. Ah. Oh. Love it. Okay. I'm going to quickly jump down to the other channel, figure out uh, if they are trying to figure out the voice stuff and see if they need some time. Oh, okay. They were jumped down. Okay. Oh. I bring Brian. Hey, whoa. <laughs> I did not give you permission to touch me that way. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> well, Easy now. You've been fondled on over this channel. Shut up. <laughs> I, I was literally about to change over. 
And I got I pulled like, without nope. permission. <laughs> Get over here, bitch. I got yoinked. Oh, yeah, you did. So, Patently and Amanda, are you figuring out audio setup? If Probably they can hear sure. me. I mean, Padley might be able to hear me. Amanda is deafened. By the way, am I cutting out or anything? No. Okay. Negative. Cool, cool, cool. Well, while we're waiting, you want me to show you the helmet? Eat. Sure. All right. Wait a second, I just set up the web camera, so... Put it on stream and on here. Pop Damn this it. shit Try out. Bam up. So it's looking pretty complete, dudes. Just gotta get the eye hole finished up. Nice. We should all stream on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> you can That's if you want. I, I'm not stopping you. I'm I'm doing it because like, I, I wanted to, and I also asked last week if we were cool with that, and it seemed like the consensus was, yeah, we can do it. Yeah. It's hella good, dude. Yeah, it fits pretty good. The only problem is it's a little loose, do I? so I would have to get like some additional foam, one that would, I could actually cut and shape, because what I have right now are these pads, but um, they work pretty well. <laughs> nice. They, they also got Velcro on it, so I can just take it in, put it off, take it in, whatever. Hey, can you guys hear us? Yep. Oh, I, I can hear you right now. Hello. Hello. I'm just showing you a different microphone because the shotgun doesn't work. Oh. I mean, I've gotten it to work before, but on a different computer, so we'll have to mess with it when we're not late for a session. Yeah, overall, I mean, my, my IT time is over right now. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> a little loose. You nice. Have to all of our session. I mean, that'd be pretty badass. Tell it. Was that? I said you were required to wear that for the entire session, just so you know. Uh, no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> DM says, right, Amanda? Yeah, she said yes. <laughs> <laughs> I can get that in a second. You go ahead and do your DMing stuff. What the fuck do I stop sharing my screen? Your DMing stuff. Yeah. Padley has such a way with words. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. It was not a screen share, it was a camera share. That was the difference. I got a message. I got to read. Hmm. I should probably pull up roll 20. Uh, um. So, Justin, how did you do the fancy um, Twitch overlay? Do you do you set that up on OBS or, do you, or is yeah, it? Yeah, typically. Uh, there's, there's an extension on Twitch. Let me actually just send it to you. Oh, there is. Because I, I got the, the extension for Twitch. Okay. Yeah, you don't have to do an actual overlay from your uh, OBS or whatever programmer you're using. All you have to do is just have it enabled. Uh, it, it will be an overlay. There's, there's a couple of different uh, items. There's like, uh, oh, hold on, let me go to my about and channel editor. Okay, custom bio, why not? Oh! Okay, X. Extensions, my extensions. Okay, because there's three different things. There's panels, overlays, and components. Overlay is just straight up on the stream. It gives you information about the stream itself. Uh, I have it set so D&D Beyond Interactive Overlay is automatically shown on my uh, Twitch account, on my Twitch stream whenever I'm actually streaming Dungeons & Dragons. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Go too fast, go too fast. Sorry. Okay, hold on. Is that fucking charging yet? Uh, oh my god, it's not working! This, my tablet, I think, is busted. This is sad. Oops.
Okay. That's what she said. Hey, that's my thing. How the fuck is that your thing, Bird? I stole it. Are you every mature teenager from our era? Mm. Yep. Okay. How do you know? Intuition. Intuition. Also, blame Ryan for the shitty on your side. side. Okay, now you're just being hurtful. All right, so you were all right, back oh, to damn it, it's gone. In. But also, Padley, I found something. What? I found new graphics. Oh. I don't know why I'm so excited about this, but I am. Let me let me have this. It's all I have in life. Oh right, yeah. Awesome. What? Ooh. Okay. Uh, I was just getting my um, OBS set up and ready to go. Is it me or does Brian sound very distant right now? Yeah. Yes, he do. Also, not gonna lie, Bird. This is very pretty. I don't know why your Discord stream is super pretty, by the way. I don't know why. I'm I'm kind of a fan though. Okay. Yeah, so they got new fire and smoke physics, but check that shit out. Right where I shot him in the front of the hole there. Oh yeah, they got the holes and then sometimes you can see the shells stuck in there too now. Yeah, dude. Right, dude you look look better so now. Cool. Mm -hmm. uh, I sound better now. Really good. You sound exactly the same except worse, Brian. <laughs> It's like you uh, transitioned a little closer to Snurp without trying to sound like Snurp. <laughs> well, now he just hurt his feelings. I feel bad. <laughs> Is everyone on roll 20? Not that it super matters right now. Fuck right. Uh, uh, that's a mouse pad with Gaben boobies. Um, where is roll 20? <laughs> There it is. Found it. Just tell it how it is, man. <laughs> no, I'm just like, oh yeah, that's bird. <laughs> Look, it's fucking okay. Man, Ryan, Ryan posted, posted it. it. I'm, I'm just, just saying, saying how it oh! is. Oh! Ryan, Ryan says it's the exact same worse or something. Wow, there's an echo. <clears throat> I have an echo. 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 I had to mute my uh, rule 20 from the it came on muted. Uh, so I still sound like shit for some reason. Yes. yes. That's correct. Have you yeah. fallen into a small box? I haven't done anything fucking different. Oh, Brian, you're back. Hold on. You sound keep better. It, you sound keep better your microphone now. positioning right where it is. The fuck? Yeah. <laughs> just, clear. just be matter. That's how you make it work. That's how I do it. Test now. How sound? Good. Sound like Brian. Okay. The fuck happened? I don't understand. You're back to the good old, good old good, uh, Brian that I know. No, I'm angry. <laughs> I hear echo oh. too. <laughs> Brian, we need to talk about your roll twenty profile picture. <laughs> no, I like this roll twenty profile picture. No, Padley, Snurp Badoof is not. <laughs> okay, it is a thing. <laughs> and also, it's glorious, but also, I feel like that thing would bite your fucking ankles so much. Oh, <laughs> uh, dude, ankles equal gone. I think I still like favorite Athlons. Athlons is pretty fucking good. Yeah, I, I, don't, see I, I can't really change that for a while now. <laughs> I mean, you you can change it. You oh, there's just Athlons. Oh, shouldn't so change it. Okay, so everyone is here. Who's going to be here for the start, right? Uh, we are missing cheese, yeah. but I think we had discussed that a little bit already. Yes, he's on the way. Um, okay, so let's get started. Um, you're starting in the town of Amelin, which lies in the northwest thumb of Pendargus, in the Gulf of Fongfir and the western Eretic Sea. It's in the realm of Clenum, which is beautiful, fertile land, home to thriving agriculture, and family farms. Wide, sluggish rivers winding through forests and across plains, cutting through mountains and connecting several broad lakes. Vast schools of fish um, swimming through the streams and along the shores through the sea. Um, fishing towns, harbor towns. There's agriculture inland. It's a prosperous, idyllic country, and during the harvest, the bounty of the land is celebrated. The province of Amelin, holding the city of Amelin, Sits along the river Care. Just across from it is the Delta Care, a marsh. Empty back into the sea. 
At the westernmost edge of the province lies the city of Amelin, a bustling metropolis built in chunks throughout its history so that the resulting street plan is sprawling and maze-like, with stretches of wall dividing the whole city into wards and interrupting the streets, which sometimes curve back to avoid the wall and sometimes just end. The city of Amelin is built on a low cliff that protects it from the tidal bore that crowns down the river, drowns part of the delta at high tide. Steep, winding steps lead down the cliffside, and from the city proper to the city harbor below, where considerable fleets of fishing and merchant vessels are constantly coming and going. The city contains two points of entry, on the North Pier Road and the South Pier Road. On the day of the festival, there is only one point of entry along the South Pier Road, where extra guards are posted to keep an eye on the crowds of people thronging into the city. The Festival of the Reaping is celebrated all across Pindarvis in the month of Kavra. The festival spans three days, usually the 22nd through the 24th. At midnight of the second day, the celebration reaches its peak as the celebration of the autumnal equinox also begins and lasts until the early hours of the third day. The festival of the reaping draws people from all walks of life, and even those who usually avoid the city come to enjoy the festivities, eat the food, play the games, and watch the various entertainments offered. The devout also come to take part in the many worship services held throughout the festival, praising Amrith Lansir, elven goddess of the harvest, and Wendar Neth, elven goddess of growth and vitality, and the intersection of their two domains during the harvest. You find yourselves on a bustling rural road, winding through the countryside, quickly approaching the city. Um, your eye is drawn immediately to a towering fort walks to the crowd you'd like to describe your character um that is directed to me yes okay um so this is an odd and peculiar sight that is being witnessed here because uh this this orc is very very different than something savage that you would expect to see um this is a very distinguished and uh, proper gentlemanly-looking orc. Um, one of his distinguishing features is he's got a, a brand over his left eye. And over top of that a same eye, he has a monocle. Silver, <laughs> silver monocle. Uh, he's dressed very... Um, very noble like very like how you would expect like uh someone would serve an upper classman and um he's a he's a big dude, big dude. <laughs> <laughs> and uh with him he has a companion uh his his name is well i should say that uh this orc's name is baskar i have a introduced him by name yet but uh, his name is Baskar and uh, he has a companion with him right now Cassius and it looks like they are in the middle of uh, searching for some people searching for some answers um, they're while kind of regaling in the festival um, they seem to have more pressing matters at hand so I'm gonna go ahead and like uh, Speak up to Cassius a little bit. It's like, well, it's always interesting coming across the harvest. And, um, and, uh, he, he shouldn't be too focused or just, well, he shouldn't be too distracted by the festivities right now. We have, uh, some business to take care of. Uh, we need to be locating our person of interest. Oh, and he is a, he's kind of an, on the old side, like, uh, he almost looks like he could be someone's grandfather. He's got graying hair, kind of bald, but like a distinguished bald. He wears it <laughs> with pride. <laughs> I'm going to need some mental imagery here. Distinguished bald, that can mean a lot of things. Like, okay, so like, he's got hair, like, Kind of like a semi ring around the outside. It's like very clean cut, very, very bald. proper. Like, like I know I've been going bald for a while, and I'm not gonna go completely bald, but I want people to know that I'm I'm a classy dude. He's got dad bald. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I... his, his granddad bald. <laughs> 
Alright. <laughs> Alright, and then I guess Cassius and I are going to be looking around the crowd some more, trying to talk to some people of interest, maybe like uh, vendors, um, store owners, like many guards that might have some insight on our, what we're looking for, but I don't want to take up too much time going into that right now. We can move on. Okay. Um, your eye is also drawn to a scurrying person who, as you look closer, has scales but is not a dragon dwarf. You want to describe your character? All right. Um, this lizard folk, I assume you're talking about lizard folk, because I'm not dragonborn. Um, he is a about six foot five. Um, he's got a like a like a spike mo spike ish mohawk type thing going on. A few um, horns that trail back across his um, across his head. Yellow piercing eyes with a uh, just kind of a distant vacant look. Almost, um, he is clad in um, uh, various types of jewelry, mostly made from bone and feathers. Um, mostly naked, except for like a um, like a leather fur type loin cloth. Um, all across his body, there are various scars that run across, and a sizable burn mark that goes across his chest, where his uh, scales are black. His uh, underbelly area is slightly gray. And uh, across his across his back, he wields a um, a hefty great sword that appears to be fashioned from some form of bone. Okay. And finally, Gerd, if you'd like to describe your character for us. I'm sorry, it cut out for me. What? Describe. Am you Discord? <laughs> This All right. Discord. Oh, while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to go ahead and create a Google Doc like we did for the last campaign, and then I'll yeah. share the link. Okay. okay. Bird, it's your turn to make yourself known. Oh, no. That <laughs> moment I've been dreading. Knees, knees bendy, palms sweaty. <laughs> Mom's spaghetti. Mom's spaghetti. <laughs> 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 we we need a D D equivalent, so it was not so obvious. <laughs> oh. I don't know what that uh, is. Uh so yeah, I guess moving among the crowd, I am or you see like, fuck me. Uh really a nondescript human, black hair, faded blue eyes. Just like oh. Oh, oh. This card just had a vomit. Sorry, can you repeat that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of Discord's thing. Uh, so yeah, wonder, wondering amongst the, amongst the crowd. Uh, you see a nondescript human, black hair, faded blue eyes, a scraggly beard, wearing a red cloak, kind of red dyed leather pants with a quarter strap, quarter staff slung somewhere on his back because words fail me. All right. I mean, just change Cheese's character name from Cheese to his actual character name, and it goes here. <laughs> Since he finally okay. named his character. Greetings. My name is Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> his name is Cheese. All right. Um, sound of music and gaiety have occurred long before you reach the city, and as you journey the last half mile of the South Pier Road toward the city gate, you can hear the distant calls of vendors, peals of laughter, joyous shouts at the mingling with excited murmurs of fellow travelers and the rattling of wagons, carriages, and harnesses. People of all walks of life join you on the road, peasant families holding hands so as not to lose each other, or hitching rocks to the backs of wagons, carrying baskets of produce, or leading burrows laden with grain. Packs of laborers strolling together, laughing loudly and joking. Several fine carriages, spearmen not navigating, flinging up clumps of mud and sprays of dirty water. Gnomes, halflings with elves, dwarves, humans. Some have brought their dogs, who laugh and dash around and bark and trick people, nosing at your pockets, maybe trying to sneak tastes of whatever you've got hidden in your packs. 
passers-by looking at our orc friend and our lizard folk friend give them some side-eye look at you a little bit of a scant um most of them seem harmless but wary and a few elbow past you a little too hard or refuse to meet your gaze or return a smile or a wave some cross the road when they see you and they prefer to walk through the churned up mud rather than share a common space with you one or two people shout insults or disparagements at you as you pass by. As you near the city, you can see the battlements towers are decorated with pennants of gold and green and the coat of arms from the city hanging from the watchtower windows. Closer to the city, you can smell food, the warmth of cinnamon, sweet, fresh candy, dried food, fresh bread, the earthiness of ale and beer whenever the wind gusts over the city walls. You can pick out snippets of individual songs, sea shanties, ballads, folk songs. Roadside stands, owned by farmers whose sole source of income is to sell their goods outside the city at each harvest festival, are swarmed with customers who either don't have a harvest bounty or forgot to bring one. These stands sell any man manner of item the characters could wish to buy. Grain, fruit, vegetables, smoked or salted meats. If you wish to stop at one of these, you can. Otherwise, we can go on. Uh, I want to do double check one thing real quick. Did we say that uh, during this festival we would be essentially handing over weapons to the guard or something? When you get to the city gates, yes. Okay. You will be asked to surrender your weapons. Okay. Yeah, I, I wanted to ask that, and uh, I I was also curious about uh, the collapsible quarter staff I have. Uh, because it's, it acts as a cane, uh, and a quarter staff, and I wanted to see, I, I would have been honest with the guards about that, but I wanted to see if they would have, uh, confiscated that as well. You're pulling a Gandalf. Yep. hundred percent. I haven't gotten to the gates yet. You're still outside the city. So oh, okay. Okay. I see. I see. I'm just going to continue approaching the city. <clears throat> the vendors don't, uh, intrigue me. Okay. Um, does anyone else want to stop at a vendor? The lizard folk keeps marching. Mm, I, I guess I would stop at one or two of the more prominent looking vendors just to see if I can get any insight. I doubt I would. Like, just like wherever there's like a large crowd, like a popular crowd or anything, I would probably be asking about uh, this particular person of interest, but uh, I doubt I'll find out anything useful. Kind of stares at you as you approach the crowd. You can you clearly catch his attention, towering over the other people in the vicinity. And he looks at you. What? Uh, did anyone else catch that? I, no. Uh, Discord <laughs> happened. <laughs> Discord happened. Um. <laughs> One moment. You guys should probably like work on some sort of setup where like you have computers like yeah, in between you or you're facing each other and have the microphone right in the smack dab in the middle of you guys. We're working on it. <laughs> working on it. <laughs> or, or we thought our other stuff would work, so we're working on it. Hold oh, on. Okay. or or we all pitch in, buy them an audio mixer and two microphones, and pop <laughs> those suckers together. <laughs> Boom! Flawless audio, except for Discord things. Um, the vendor kind of stands up on his toes. Can I help you with something there, sir? Mm, yes, I wanted to inquire about a particular person. I believe they had passed through this town some months ago. I doubt you may actually be aware of them or heard anything about them. And, uh, I just wanted well, to at least ask around. And well, I... Uh, I would give them the description of the particular person I am looking for. And uh, you kind of know the backstory and who I'm looking for. I, I don't want to go into the details this soon in the session, but that's who I'd be yeah. asking about. I personally recall having seen anyone like that around. They've passed through the city. I'm sure someone inside has seen them. There's only so many places you can hide in this city. Any recommendations to start inside further into the city? Maybe ask the guards. They're in charge of who goes in and out. Hmm. 
Okay, I will have a look. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Do you want to buy anything? <clears throat> what do you have? I have grain, the finest grain you'll find this side of the river. He said grain, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Maybe I will stop by at uh, another time. Maybe when I'm starting to leave the city, I have a, a pressing matter to attend to. All right, but the goddess of death does not appreciate empty hands. <laughs> um, as you keep walking, you get closer to the city and you see billboards lining the road on either side, advertising plays, religious services, hallmark events of the festival. Um, they contain very conspicuous, no conspicuous notices also that spellcasting of enchanting, illusory, or necrotic manner is neither permitted nor tolerated within the city limits. <clears throat> the plays that they're advertising um, are a few. Um, there's a few services that are offered throughout the day. Um, prominently on this day, you see that there's big banners advertising the Harvest Parade, which is going to take place at noon. Um, and it is about mid-morning, and the throng at the city gates is starting to thicken, so you, you get the sense that maybe the people here are, uh, interested in that. Now, uh, at the gate, the, gra the crowd is very dense, uh, close-packed, and there's a very slow trickle of people being allowed through the gates. Um, there's no room to maneuver. The guards are letting only a few people through at a time, searching everyone in a very methodical manner. Um, soldiers are running back and forth, bearing weapons and other bundles away from the gate. Um, make a perception check for me. Who? Who's making the check? <clears throat> the three. Every one of you that is outside the city <clears throat> right now. Okay. First roll is gonna be crap. It was not crap. <laughs> <laughs> 16 for the lizard. Okay. 20 total. Okay. Oh. Uh, oh, fuck me. Do you add any modifiers to perception or not? Yes. It should be... You looking at your uh, character sheet? Yep. Uh, do you have the... Do you see the skills opened? There is a... Yep. Perception. Kind of like midway towards the bottom, sort of. Your skills are in alphabetical order, so you should just be able to go down to the P's and yeah. see for seven. Bingo. Uh, gonna be a 12. Okay. So the orc and the lizard folk both notice um, a few people who are at the gate kind of handing the guards a couple of coins. Uh, it's a little too far away to see what they're handing the guards, but you do notice that these individuals walk through the gates uh, with their side swords, quite prominent, and still with them. Hmm. Mm hmm. As the line crawls forward, you can see one or two instances where well-off people make it through the gates with their swords or daggers still strapped to their sides. The flash of coin catching your eye occasionally in the morning sun. Okay. About mid-morning, you make it close enough to the gate that it's your turn. <clears throat> At the gate are several guards and a clerk with a clipboard. A couple soldiers stand ready behind him and search you as you step up to the clerk. Um, I believe the orc was first in line, correct? Um, if that's how we were doing it. I mean, I, I had stopped to talk to some other people, that's so I don't, I don't mind if someone else were to go first. Start with the lizard folk, then. <clears throat> Sir, what's your name? <sighs> My name is Jornach. Jornach? What do you do? What's your occupation? I am former, former mercenary. And what are you doing in our fair city? You don't look like you're from around here. I am not. I seek way home. Way home? Where's your way home? Need to find out. How long are you going to be in the city? I, I missed that last part. How long are you going to be in the city? Till I find next travel companions. Do you have a sponsor? Anyone who can vouch for you? 
not here. Hmm. That might be a problem, sir. What's your lineage? Who are your parents? I fail to see how that matters. That matters to us. Give us your parents' name, please. Well, I don't have a parent's names currently, so <laughs> let's make up some shit. <laughs> Give me a second here. Go to a generator! Woo! Uh. <laughs> they don't have to be your real parents' names. Alifar and Squiggles. Hey, that's way too close to my name, Padley. Why did your dad? Spimbalore. Brian, roll for parentage. Give me a second, huh? <laughs> I own your dice rolling. He's All right. Really and Cockamania. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Father. <laughs> Verse Vesh. Mother. Never knew. Are they from around here? Is your dad from around here? Where's he from? Not from here. Where are he? Where's he from? Clear Jalar. How far is that? Never heard of it. Not sure. Well, <clears throat> and he kind of looks over his shoulder at the uh, at the other guy. Make a note next to his name. Keep a watch. Not enough information. So I'm going to ask you to hand over any weapons that you have on your person. I bring the great sword off my back and I hand it to him. And as he goes to grab it, I, my claw, like, doesn't let go immediately. Sir, you can relinquish your weapons. This comes back to me. Would not want to have to make new one. Of course, sir. At the end of the festival, you just check into the guardhouse. We'll have all your stuff there for you. We just can't have you slaughtering people during the festival, okay? <laughs> and then I go and reach for my hand axes. I turn my hand axes over. Thank you. And then my javelins. Great. And you said your name was Sherlock? Sherlock? Jornock. Jornock. Okay. I don't know how to say that uh, or spell it. We're going to do our best. Uh, I, your, your weapons are pretty unique. I think you'll be able to pick them out of a crowd. I hope. Go on, I do they look like weapons that people would typically want to use? <laughs> they are not metal weapons. I just want to see how the guards spell Jornok. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be pretty um, good. Do you want to try and figure it out as you pass through the, the gate? I'm not there. I know. I'm okay, talking about I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm walking through. Um, enjoy the festival, sir. Not Next yet for enjoyment. Well, that's fine. Don't <laughs> kill anyone. <laughs> Spend your money. <laughs> uh, next up, uh, our wizard friend. Um, oh, hey, sir. Yes. Uh, what's your name? Alatar. Occupation? I'm a want some, but a simple wanderer seeking knowledge. Okay, aren't we all? That's a lot of people in this town. I'm going to ask you to hand over any weapons that you have on your person. What do you got? I just hand him my quarterstaff. Okay, you'll be able to get this back at the end of the festival at the guardhouse. Just check in there. We'll give them to you. You can be on your way. Have a good time at the festival. Next! My th Before I leave, my thanks, sir, but if I may ask, are there any libraries in this city? There's a hell of a ton of libraries. There's a library at the guards. There's a library at the academy. I think there's one more library. I haven't been to any of them, but a lot of people like to go there. Thank you. I You're just welcome. Meander. Me yeah. Meander? Okay. <laughs> he kind of yells it as you at your retreating back. Next. <laughs> okay. Uh, my turn. Oh. As you. Uh, yep. Okay. I approach. Sir, what's your name? Bastar. Uh, what's your occupation? A uh, servant. Okay. And I'm gonna pull out. I'm gonna pull out my nobility papers that are vouching for me. Okay. He reads them. What's your purpose in the city? We are investigating a particular person of interest to find their whereabouts. 
Uh, the, the family wishes the the contact to be anonymous. All right. Well, I hope you find them at the festival. If you have any questions, let me know. Your sponsors are people of very high standing among the merchants guild. So if you need any help, us or them will probably be able to help you out. It is much obliged. To... Yeah, you're welcome. My pleasure. I need to ask you to hand over any weapons that you got. And, uh, and I'm gonna, uh, hold on. I'm just trying to think here. Um, uh, my companion Cassius would be with me, yeah? And mm -hmm. how many people, how many gold pieces have I been seeing people dropping the guards, essentially? You're not sure. You're not okay. even sure they were gold. Oh. Uh, well, I mean, I, I had a total of 20. I thought I would have been able to distinguish that it was gold pieces, but okay, okay. Mm. With all due respect, um, we don't plan on staying long, and we just wanted to be in and out, and, um... However, I do believe some people did walk into the city <clears throat> with, uh, gear intact. But, um... Are you uh, implying that I take bribes, sir? Not What's at up, all. I, all I am asking is, uh, with this particular family, they had uh, made certain requests, and uh, they would like for us to keep on the defense, if possible. But if, uh, but if you need some monetary donation to the militia of this town, we'd be more than happy to oblige. Do you have these requests in writing, sir? I'm afraid I do not. I only have the one paper vouching for my standing at the moment, but... Carrie, we can't accept hearsay. Sorry, sir. But, uh... Understood. Okay, I'm gonna start handing it over. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna hand over... Let's see, I'm gonna hand oh, over the gosh. battle axe. I'll be back. And uh, the rapier. But okay. I'm going to ask about... Holding on to the shield and cane. I, I yeah. won't, I won't d deny this cane is a collapsible one, but it's only a staff, essentially. But if you require that as well, I am more than willing to hand it over. Mm -hmm. He kind of looks at you. He lowers his voice. You know, we can't accept hearsay, but if you want to make a donation... 50 gold pieces, you can keep all your equipment, say anything about it. You say 50? Yeah. Mm. Owie. Oh. <laughs> wow, I fucking I got loot rules I gotta follow, see? And most people who are making donations can handle the loss, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> How about 35? How about 50 and you keep your stuff and I keep my job? I'm just gonna go ahead and hand over the staff at... Mm, is this shield okay to hold on to just for protection purposes? I, it's not really much of a weapon, it's just for protection. I don't know, man. I've seen some people shit kicked out of them with the shield. I, who are you going to protect yourself from if no one in the city has weapons? Well, I clearly saw people walk in there. Okay, then I'll hand over the shield as well, but I'm also going to drop uh, 20 gold for a, essentially, taking additional care of the stuff since it's like, it's like very quality looking equipment and gear. And yeah. Just here's twenty gold. Make sure that is protected well. He hefts the coin in his hand, lowers his voice again. Thank you for your donation, sir. And if you want to keep your collapsible cane, I'll ignore it. Thank you kindly. And then I will. You're welcome. Don't make me regret it, because you're going to be the first person I look for, and a guy your size has a hard time hiding. Mm, understood. And I will walk in with my cane, and I guess Cassius will follow as well. Is he going to 
be I guess he's gonna be handing over his stuff, but I'm not really controlling him. Yeah, he just kind of grunts in response to all of the guards' questions and hands over his stuff and he looks at you, I can handle myself with my fists and my feet as well as I can with the sword. Don't worry about me. I know you're more than capable. Let's go. And we head in. Just inside the gate ward, uh, there's a sign that welcomes you to the gate ward. Um, uh, it's a riot, color, and activity. Storefronts, the businesses themselves are closed, but the storefronts themselves are wreathed in gold and green bunting, autumn-themed decorations lining streets and steps, people and laughter absolutely everywhere. Um, vendors selling food and drink have set up counters and carts on the roadside. Strip musicians play rambling tunes. Um, a few drunkards dance and sing along. They kind of reel past you as you're trying to make your way down the road. Um, a makeshift amphitheater has been set up near a fork in the road. At the moment, it's empty. You can see a few feet inside the gate, a shortish figure in a cloak kind of stopping and just looking at all of the options. If you want to describe your character. Mm -hmm. See, small, very thin figure. Um, and until you see the front of him, you can't really tell. You almost think it's like a hunched old man. But when you see the face, it's a beaked face of what almost looks like you get the initial impression of a excited young boy almost from looking at it as he kind of looks around and watches the crowd with like almost a look of just passive naive amusement um and he kind of looks amongst the crowd he is um kind of dressed in simpler horror robes uh he carries on his back a uh, small spear he is carrying currently in one arm a bag of potatoes as he's walking along the crowd, watching around. His feathers are a jet black with a small hint of blue to them. Um, and he's this diminutive little figure that's just sort of swirling about the crowd. I'm sure drawing some looks, but mostly from the foreigners, I would assume. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. There are a bunch of games set up. Well, hang on. Before I tell you there's games, let me make sure there's actually games. <laughs> there's games. You know, you don't get to play them, but there's games. That there's games! <laughs> there's games. And there is what appears to be a job fair set up off to one side of the festival. Um, it is... just stands of people... It, it's your typical job fair. There's people in armor. There's people not in armor. There's big posters. Um, there's signs with banners giving the nationality of people who are there. A few hundred feet ahead through the gate ward, the road branches in three directions. One straight ahead, one to the right, and one angling in between. Each of these ends in a gate at the very far end of the ward. Um, but only the gate to the very right is closed. Near that gate, city officials are in the process of tearing down or papering over posters and graffiti on the gate posts and along the wall. <laughs> Excuse me. You can hear the distant squeak of rats as they squeeze under the under the gates that's locked um, and sh slink along the wall. One of the officials, as you watch, swears and kicks the, the rat to the side. Peck, or, well... The name is Peck, but you'll meet him. Uh, would definitely be taking his time to check out the games and basically watch and observe the locals. Okay. Let's see what kind of games I've got here. Um, there's some fun food. There's some fun food that you can buy. There's cheap booze stands. Um, Peck's not allowed to drink yet. He's not allowed to drink yet for Peck. There looks like mm -hmm. there's like a cup shuffle. Um, and there's a, um, an arm wrestling competition going on here. <laughs> I can try the cup shuffle. Cup shuffle? Okay. Um, you jump up to the guy. Hey there, little guy, what can I get? Oh, hello there, fellow. Hello there, fellow. <laughs> you, uh, <laughs> you uh, want to play my game? Play my game. It's a cup shuffle. Yeah. 
<laughs> um, he kind of looks around, wondering, like, at the rest of the crowd, like, is anyone else seeing this? Am I crazy? Peck's just sitting there kind of bouncing a little bit in the seat, a little excited. It's a copper to play? Do you have a copper? Yes. Shuffles around a little bit, takes out a couple of copper and plunks them on the table and just keeps bouncing in the seat. So you want to play the game three times? Shuffles really quick, glass back a few coins, leaves one up there. That's what I thought. You should tell your dad to keep a closer eye on you. So, the rules of the game is this. I have three cups, I have one pebble. I put the pebble under a cup, I mix it all around, and you have to tell me where the pebble is. I get it! If you get it wrong, you lose? I get it! If you get it right, you win a prize. I could win big. <laughs> <laughs> he, he now looks visibly confused. <laughs> He's like, oh, okay, okay, all right, let's go, let's do this. And he uh, puts the pebble under the cup. He's like trying to drum up excitement amongst the other crowd members because he's really not sure what to do with you. And he <laughs> he moves the cups around a couple of times. Keep your eye on the cup, eye on the pebble, eye on the prize. Let's go, let's go. Which one is it under? And go. Make perception check. Peck's got a stream effort face right now. Ah, <laughs> uh, one oh seven. <laughs> Which one is it under, boy? The left one, the right one, or the middle one? Peck's just looking around. Like Fuck a duck. <laughs> <laughs> Points at the second cup. He picks it up. Oh, sorry, son. Better luck next time. Keep you those eyes open. Peck just slams his head against the desk, hops down, and wobbles off. All right, who wants to try again? That was a really good effort from the bird boy. And you walk away as he continues. Um, Yes, his little spiel. Does anyone else want to do anything? Um, Turnback was eyeing up the arm wrestling. Okay. That's exactly what I thought he was going to do. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> because Barbarian. <laughs> He's going to do that. <laughs> uh, as you uh, get closer... Um, you realize that the arm wrestling is done in uh, a number of rounds, and um, most of the people who have been wrestling have lost. Um, currently sitting on the stool at the arm wrestling stand is a very large, very strong-looking um, dragonborn man. Um, he's kind of got torn shirt sleeves, and his you can see his muscles just rippling under his scale hide, and he kind of Knocks on the table as the last contender leaves. Give me a real challenge next time. I kind of walk up and I just stare at him. Yo! Skills! You want a piece of this? Piece of you? Piece of this strength! Look at these muscles! You think you got what it takes to beat me? Jonah kind of looks down at his muscles. Uh, ah, what take this game play thing? Um, and the man running the stand, who is not the very strong dragonborn sitting on a chair, he runs up. It would be two gold, two copper to play or compete. Two gold and two copper, or two copper. Two copper two to copper. compete. I. Plop down to copper, and I sit down. All right, guys, this is going to be some rounds of contested strength cheeks. So just hook up those muscles and pull as hard as you can on your opponent's hand. <laughs> I know. I don't I... see any way the lizard man is going to misconstrue the rules of this. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. And begin. Round one. Instructions on clear eight arm. <laughs> All right, is this a uh, strength check? Yeah. Okay. Mm, not good. Eight. Ooh. Uh. 
the dragonborn kind of grins at you, his teeth prickling and shining in the light, and he kind of shoves your arm. He shoves your arm over to one side. You said you had what it took. Look at you. Another strength check. How many rounds are we doing? Six. Six rounds? Okay. It is intense. All right. This one is a 20. <clears throat> he, you kind of grin. He rolled a 15. So, as, uh, as he finishes saying that, you kind of <clears throat> grin back and shove his arm over the other direction. Ah, you're not getting it now. Another strength check. Seventeen. He kind of, he looks a little surprised that there's apparently to him scrawny lizard person is shoving his arm back over. What are you talking about? Uh, he rolled a thirteen. Jarnock used to living in wilds. Depend on own muscles for more than show. <laughs> Another strength check. Another 20. Yeah. He's like, You saying my muscles are for show? He rolled a nine. <laughs> <clears throat> Another strength check. Uh, 17. He rolled a 14. How His arm is... <laughs> Go ahead. How often hunt own food? Slaughter your own hands. What kind of lizard are you? And his arm is very close to the table now. Last strength check. Uh, 15 that time. He rolled a 20. Um... You see, we're at an impasse. And your arms go back up to um, the center. One more to be a tiebreaker. Okay. Um, <clears throat> my um, my eyes are kind of going to do like that shark thing when they enter the feeding frenzy. They're going to go like straight black. Like all <laughs> the yellow is going to disappear for them. I'm raging okay. <laughs> for this one. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> So that will give me an advantage on my strength checks. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't do that from the very beginning, but hey. <laughs> I wanted it to be dramatic. Okay. Okay. That's a natural 20 for 23. <laughs> uh, he rolled a 16. Um, so as he says... Are you ready to lose? You just pound his hand against the table. Yes, you are ready to lose. He he looks at you, his shaking his hand, because it, it stings a little bit where you slammed it down. I don't know who you are, but you better watch your back, because I'm going to be looking for you and coming for you in a dark alley somehow. No one fixed me at first. Is this what we call frail, me fragile masculinity? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna like hunch over the table, like my the spikes are gonna like stand up on my back, I'm gonna square my shoulders. You are welcome to try. <laughs> Make an intimidation check. Oh, that's investigation intimidation. Uh, uh, ten. <laughs> He kind of grins. You're not the first person to threaten me. I'm not afraid of a little lizard twerp. Ah, kind of I might be your last, though. <laughs> he stands up really roughly and shoves the table into you as he scoots back. See you later, twerp. And now he walks away.
And as you're doing this, <laughs> as you're doing this, the vendor kind of walks up. Um, he looks a little unsure, a little shaken. Um, sir, if you could please be sure. My head snaps people. over to him with my eyes still uh, black. Uh, uh, hello. Yes, you won. I saw that you won. You have made some winnings. Would you like to collect those winnings? Yes. Okay, well, you can't collect them if you eat me, so please, please don't eat me. Won't um, eat you. Follow me Other this way. Other skins get upset. Okay, you... <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I really want to give you your prize money so you leave. Can I do that? Yes. Okay, follow me, please. Quickly, <laughs> put your teeth away, please. <laughs> I follow. Um, he leads you around to where his cash box is, pulls out a small pouch. Here's five gold! Please donate me! Please leave! And he holds it out, like, at arm's length between his two fingers, and his eyes are kind of shut. What was the entry to copper? That's a good deal. (laughs) I I pick up the coins one at a time, and I slowly put them in my my pouch. (laughs) Most people don't win. Please just take it all quickly. Quicker. <laughs> and eventually I get there. I don't actually speed up. <laughs> oh, thank you for your patronage, sir. And he stuffs the empty satchel into his cash box. The exit is that way. It's that way. <laughs> I go that way. And as you're walking away, you can hear him. Oh, where did I? Where did he go? I've got a line. I'm alive. Hello. Hey. We've just entered the festival. Hooray. I love festivals. (laughs) We just made it inside the city. I just made somebody shit themselves. Oh, no. (laughs) It's going very well. (laughs) Um, But just to catch you up, so do you... You're not from the city, are you? Your character is not from the city? I would say no at this point. So at the gate, um, you would have been asked if you wanted to give up your weapons. Um, Make a perception check retroactively. Okay. Uh, A resounding eight. Okay. You don't notice anything. Everything seems fine. Cool. Uh, You make it to the gate, and the guards there ask you your name and... They search you, and they ask you to relinquish your weapons for the duration of your stay. I do so willingly. Okay. Great. Um, and then you enter You enter the, the gate ward, which is it's the gate ward is announced by a sign at the top of the gate. Um, and you see a bunch of games. There's a bunch of food vendors. There's, like, cheap beer. There's fair food. There's a bunch of stands of people who are from all over the country who are, they look like it's some sort of recruitment event. Um, and then off to the right, where one of the roads ends in a shut gate, there are soldiers uh, papering over graffiti and other posters and a couple of rats just squeaking along the ground. Hmm. Uh, just real quick, I'm going to be stepping away for a moment. I'm letting my girlfriend into the apartment. That's so nice of you. <laughs> yeah, I'm just it's stepping cool. away. I have an idea of what I want to be doing, but uh, I'll, I'll you can get back to me later. Okay. Did you describe Bruce's character yet? No. Describe your character. Oh God, no, no, I'm not ready for this. <laughs> uh, so, just a heads up before Cheese does that. If I bounce randomly, it's because I'm on call and people are calling me for stupid shit that they think can't wait for tomorrow. Okay. But they can't wait for tomorrow. Bruh. <laughs> this, one, this, this thing that they just called me on, they're like, yeah, so about nine people just dropped off the VPN randomly. They're, they're reconnected after rebooting. It's like, okay, why are you calling me? <laughs> like, they're working. God. <laughs> Sorry, I missed a few things, but continue. <clears throat> oh, no. Oh, God. All right, gotta look this up. All right. <clears throat> I knew it. Cheese was a drag queen all along. Damn it. I gotta scratch this character idea. I can't have bird <laughs> predicting shit. <laughs> nah. For lack of a better name, I named him Faulkner because I am atrocious with naming characters. Oh, that's <laughs> Brian's name. That is? 
atrocious. <laughs> atrocious. <laughs> ah, I. God damn it. <laughs> uh, so Faulkner is human male, real original. Um, he's got brown eyes, black, very messy, short black hair. Um, he looks fairly young. He's also fairly short, only about five six. Pretty, pretty thin. You know, he's pushing one hundred twenty pounds, soaking wet. I'd say. Um, got got the very he, he got the eyes that he looks like he doesn't trust anybody's bullshit at all times. It's a kind of a look of apathy to him most of the time. <laughs> it's about the best I can do. That's all right. You find yourself in this in this place filled with food and cheap beer and some games and this recruitment event. Hey, I don't, know. I don't know what to do. Yep, beer sounds good. I'm going to go for some beer. Okay. <laughs> when in doubt, go for beer. Wisconsin's way. <laughs> you have two choices. You've got mead and you've got wine. Oh, Just definitely go. definitely the mead. I ain't got yeah, enough money for wine. Bloody <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> All right, give me two copper a cup for some mead. Are they able to make change? Because all I got is gold. <laughs> I would say yes, they are able to make change. It's the second day of the festival, so... Cool. They, they really ought to have enough for exchange. Awesome. I'm going to buy one mead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is there anything that Alatar or Peck would like to do? Uh, just mead. Mead. Okay, two copper for you as well. You already played a game. Do you want to do anything else? Peck being nosy would just go over and peek over at the... Uh, side with the posters and stuff, just looking at what the graffiti and stuff is that they're trying to get rid of. Okay. Um, the posters and the graffiti both depict a slogan that says kind of the same thing, just different, um, different wording, depending on where you're looking. Um, it says basically, beware the second midnight. Does Peck know what they're talking about? Peck knows... Okay. Make uh make an intelligence check. Uh, fourteen. That must be Ryan. Knows as someone who has lived in this city. Mm -hmm. Let me go deal with that. Okay. We'll come back to that. Dogs and phone calls and oh my. <laughs> and a random cheese appearing. We got everything. Random cheese is the best cheese, though. I am welcomed. This is fantastic. Uh, sorry, <laughs> I apologize. Forgot to mute myself. Oh, God, we, we didn't hear anything, unless that was your phone. That yeah, were my <laughs> phone. Oh, yep, then that was your phone. <laughs> We heard everything. <laughs> you didn't wash your hands. I did wash my hands. It happened while I was washing my hands. Anything in particular I missed? No, uh, I was. we were going to learn something and then the dogs barked. Um, but Peck knows, living here, it, it's pretty hard to hide the fact that in the middle of the Festival of the Reaping, um, the city of Amelin goes on lockdown. Um, and this generally happens on the second midnight of the festival. Um, and everyone from your side of town is terrified of this event. I've probably just been told to stay in. Yes, you've been told to stay inside. You've been told to always carry your work papers. So you know, you don't know exactly what happens on the second midnight, but you know that the second midnight is a source of terror. Kind of just shaking a bit. Heck, will scramble back towards the, uh, festivities and try to probably find some of the rest of the ingredients that I was sent out for. Okay. Um, probably another sack of, I think I have potatoes, probably onions and like 10 pounds of meat. Okay, I was really confused because you never gave me a shopping list. Oh. <laughs> Making one up for what I was sent out for. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I feel like a shopping it. list is more um, tedious than coming up with names for parents. <laughs> <laughs> What's really sad is I would knock out a random, like eight random shopping lists before I would even get close to one name for anything. 
<laughs> Athlon, was there something you had in mind before you stepped away? Um, yeah, I, I would uh, discuss with Cassius about the splitting up, discussing with some person, with some people around, uh, some prominent looking people around, uh, see if we can get more info about their passing through this uh, city since we knew this is one of the locations they stopped by, try to gather any hints, and uh, we'd probably be gathering information along the way that we knew, like, towards the, the last known location, essentially, but we're starting from this part to gather information. Okay. Um, he kind of takes a glance around. Well, I think I can take the uh, far side if you want to just... I, I'll take the guards if you want to ask prominent townsfolk. Mm, sounds like an idea. Let's take our leave for now and we will reconvene later. We can All meet, right. We can meet right back here. Right back here? What time? Mm, give it about two hours. Two hours? That sounds like a plan. In two hours, I will meet you by the well where the amphitheater is set up. Indeed. Let us be on our way. <laughs> okay. Um, is there anything, any, anything else anyone wants to do? In this section? I'll be honest, while Faulkner's drinking, he's just kind of watching people, seeing if anything interesting happens, or if anyone catches his attention. <laughs> okay. He's rather bored. <laughs> Quickly, you catch sight of a tall orc man, pretty well dressed, uh, looking for what you would expect of an orc. And you find it strange because not only are orcs themselves not seen in this uh, part of the world, they are not normally wearing such fine clothing. And they are not hmm. generally accompanied by what you take to be a man service. You also see um, nearby lounging. Uh, a human fellow man in uh, nondescript clothes. You see, you you hear shouting, and you look over and see a lizard person snarling as a giant, just really buff dragonborn person just storms away from an arm wrestling stand. Um, hmm. And you see, standing kind of in the middle of the crowd, just looking around, looking very lost, a little black bird boy. Hmm. The orc seems fun. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna down the mead and I'm gonna try and follow the orc without him noticing. <laughs> Just kinda keeping my distance. Take a stealth check. Okay. And we'll have Athlon make a perception check. Perception. Ooh. Okay. Nat twenty. <laughs> well, unless I can nat twenty right yeah. here. <laughs> Which one is this? Okay, yeah, definitely don't see him. <laughs> that would be a, a 12 for perception for me. I don't see Jack. So Even with the, the monocle, I don't see Jack. <laughs> the orc's movements kind of confuse you, because he sends his manservant off to do something, and you notice the manservant just going to the near set of guards and talking to them. And then the orc himself just kind of stands there looking around and trying... You're not sure what he's looking for, but he just kind of strolls through the ward. Hmm. And I would gonna... say, while I'm looking to find someone prominent to speak to, I might uh, see if there's like any fine wine vendor and maybe uh, get like a glass of wine while I'm doing this. Uh, well, there is wine being sold in this part of town. Um, it is not fine wine. You can tell just from the smell. When you approach the stand, it smells first very sickly sweet, and then there's a sour undertone, and you know that this is not the kind of wine that you are used to. Okay, yeah, I, I'd probably ignore that then, because it, it would probably remind me of, like, uh, way back when something I would used to drink, and I would probably be sickened by that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, so if there's nothing else anyone wants to do, we'll continue on through the town. I think I'm also going to try following Athlon because he looks like a well-learned orc. 
and I'm looking for knowledge. See all this people just randomly grouping? See the orc for sure. Yeah. Peck will start watching. Bro, he's like three times taller than everybody else. Like, it's <laughs> hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I might not be. Okay, I'm. Okay. I'm 6'3. I don't know what the average height of the people here would be, but it's oh, probably going to be taller than most. Bro, you're also Hadley. an orc. Like, you stand Blizzard up. Blizzard got you by two inches. <laughs> Hadley? Yeah. I've made myself five foot six, and if he's six three, that means I'm essentially Colin to his cheese. Yeah, <laughs> probably the first one in the group, I think. <laughs> Actually, if Pep would see the orc, he would just sort of wander straight up and stand in front of him. Okay. <laughs> so as you're making your way forward, looking for some someone prominent, something decent to drink, all of a sudden, you look down, and you see, blinking up at you, a little... Bird boy with raven black feathers. Hello. <laughs> Hello there, young man. How are you today? Works in these parts. What do you say? You get a lot of works in these parts. That is definitely true. We are well. I am pretty far from home, but I have a new home now. What you doing? <laughs> I am inquiring about a particular person, but it's nothing you need to uh, concern yourself about. It's very, very grown-up manners. And immediately a frown on his face. Can, can a beak frown? Oh, um, kind of, like the eyebrows would furrow and shirt. His expression is colored with disappointment. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if uh, I don't know if uh, Maskar actually knows anything about. Uh, um, hmm. Kenku are not known by anybody because they're not in her universe mostly. Yeah, so no, you don't know anything about this creature. You've never seen one before in your life. Never well, if that was the case, I probably would have followed that Kenku. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I mean the he's there now, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Prominent and a Kenku is very short. Mm -hmm. in mm. Good point. What's your name, young one? And you? All I heard was and you. Did anybody? Yeah, that's <laughs> all I heard. That's why I was laughing because I was so badly was purposely being quiet. Voice. I think our tech voice might have cut off. No, he said. Peck, <laughs> I assume. I would assume Peck, but... Peck, he said Peck. Oh yeah, the microphone's over here. I'm being stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yelling at my table mic. <laughs> oh my god. I'm just oh, now imagining yeah. Padley, like yelling at a random like glass of water, like, Why can't you hear me? <laughs> yeah. But the small bird basically looked at you and just basically pretend, Peck! Hmm. Interesting. And, um, I don't believe I've seen your kind before. I'm normally more versed in these things, but, uh, you I'm not quite familiar with. What, 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 what type of being are you? Act like looks down, looks up. I'm not quite familiar, um... Maybe just mimicking. Okay. I just kind of like uh, seriously raise an eyebrow, like, okay. Well, I will be on my way. I have matters to attend to. It was nice to meet you. Just kind of sighs. That's boring. <laughs> Peck kind of just sort of puffs out his chest a little bit and just kind of wanders off towards the market. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting the jolly sense of potatoes, too. It's, like, almost his size. <laughs> I, I imagine, like, if I'd heard this conversation, I'm just kind of standing, like, five, like ten feet away from this group, just kind of head-cocked watching this whole exchange. Yeah, you've just finished terrorizing the poor man running the arm wrestling game. And I just I just keep watching. Don't get closer. Don't say anything. Just watch. Okay. So after a little while, 
You see the uh, little bird person walk away, um, and the orc continues on his way. And I would be using my uh, cane as a walking stick this whole time. Uh, I don't think these guys would realize it's a collapsible cane. Probably not. Um, unless they were, like, specifically looking for it, but I don't think they would be. They might find it a little odd that it's very, like, ornate and uh, sophisticated. <clears throat> And uh, I mean, not a lot of people actually have weapons here. For about the next but 50 they, feet. They don't know it's a weapon, though. For the next about, like, 50 feet, can Peck just be quietly pantomiming his, like, old person walking from behind him? <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to stay hidden? Or? Yes. Okay, make a stop check. Uh, and, uh, I also have a question. Yes. Nope. Since Faulkner's following the orc man, he would obviously see Peck doing this, right? Uh, yes, he would. But let's have Athlong roll to see if the orc sees it. Okay. Sees it. Uh, that's got to be another 12. Okay. Yeah, so out of the corner of your eye, you see every so often just this whoosh of feathers as the little bird person behind you is pretending to walk with a cane and struggling because of the massive sack of potatoes she's got slung over her shoulder. <laughs> okay, I, I'm just going to, like, kind of... Uh, hey, Kind of like ignoring them. I'm just gonna let out a, a light chuckle and like pretend I don't see them because it, it, it kind of reminds me of someone. Yeah, Peck will keep following for a bit. He's he's enjoying the pantomime. Peck believes he's getting away with this. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say Faulkner's gonna start pantomiming the pantomiming king. <laughs> <laughs> Garnock rolls for confusion. <laughs> <laughs> Now these three are incredibly noticeable, and I'm standing at the arm wrestling stands watching them, watching this pantomime of giant orc, tiny bird person, regular sized human, all just walking. It's like telephone, each one is a little bit more exaggerated than the <laughs> <laughs> There's gonna be a fucking conga line in this bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Soft skin's weird no matter where you find them. Um, and the crowd kind of like parts around them as everyone is looking at them in confusion. <laughs> <laughs> but you make your way out of the gate ward into the next ward, which is the temple ward. And here the atmosphere is a lot less um, celebratory. It's more solemn. You can hear the echoes of hymns, actually, out of a large, um, uh, what's the word that I want? Nope, it's a building with, like, pods, and that's not penis. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, Ryan is here trying to help me come up with a word. Hello. Hey, Hi, Ryan. <laughs> Hi, Ryan. I'm always the most helpful. It's like sections. It's like like a spaceship when you've got sections of a spaceship. <clears throat> Modules. Sure. It's got little it's it's basically like it's a building with little modules onto it and each each module is like a different temple. Anyway, you can hear him coming out of the doors of them as you make your way down the road. Um there's a number of altar and temple complexes sprawled over. Um a few buildings that are three stories high or more. Um, to the left, there's a short row of inns and taverns peeking out from behind a long, notched building. Um, to the right, there's a broad expanse of grass in the last vibrant emerald of autumn, surrounding a white building topped with the branching symbol of Kentar Dare, who is the uh, chief goddess of the elven... Um... Oh my god. Pantheon. Pantheon, yeah. <laughs> Crowds surround this building, waiting for uh, the current service level so they can go in and um, pray to the goddess, pay their respects. Bunches of people cluster on the green, gather around men or women who stand on stumps, preaching their own fiery sermons of mortal sin and irredeemable souls. Um, on the other side of the grass, a long, high stone wall carved full of names spans the entire length of the road. The people pace along it singly and in groups stopping here and there to leave flowers and rest. Um, as you pass temples that um, are decorated to show that they are to uh, Amros, Lensir, or um, Windarneth, you smell 
the scent of blood wafting out, and the frightened bleat of a goat that is abruptly silenced. That was a terrible sound, Toby. Maybe that was the sound of the goat. That was the sound of the goat, Toby. <laughs> All right. Do we have a goat sound we can play on stream? <laughs> no, our dog just made an awful noise. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna need you guys to, to put dildos down and get back to <laughs> the game. All right. <laughs> Fucking dildos. Um, far to the far ahead, the stream of people continues to the left, where the road curves around a massive building through a gate and into the next ward. There are a few people around in the corner to the right, but these seem to be mostly monks and people of a religious bent, because the gate there is also locked. So there's people panicking? There's not panicking, but most of the crowd is going to the left. And there's a few people strolling to the right. Um, and who who would notice this? Everyone, as you're walking in. Okay. Um, you can hear the sounds of animals being killed in temples. Um, uh, is, this, is this something that frequently happens in this type of religion? Or is this... Uh... Uh, make it a uh, religion check. Okay. I should have probably picked up a religion skill, but hey, 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 whatever. I mean, I'm a cleric and I didn't even do that. that so. That's a nat 20. <laughs> that's a nat 20. <laughs> nat 20. Um, you know, uh, because elves are the prominent race at this time period, um, you know a lot about their religion, even though you don't practice it them yourself. You know that the goddess of the harvest and the goddess of nature, the two goddesses that are being celebrated in this festival, demand uh, tithes from the field. Um, and some of these tithes are live sacrifices of animals. So you know that animals are being sacrificed. Peace, um, um, fruits of the harvest are being brought to the altars and sacrificed, left there. Um, and the blood is being collected for something. You're not sure what, but you do know that the blood is being collected. Because okay, so it's kind of expected, but uh, a little weird to hear. It's expected, but still jarring, yes. Okay. All right. And you said this is a temple district. I probably would have seen if there was uh, anything in regards to the faith I have. Probably not, since the elven faiths are the more prominent one. But seeing as I kind of adapted uh, a religion based on a particular group of people, the, the wealthy family that I serve, uh, I would say if there's anything in regards to like Son of Mivian, if there's uh, anything. Make a general perception check. General perception. Um, okay, that's 18. Okay, decent rolls well, tonight. You do see nestled amongst all of the other altars of um, one altar to the Western human gods in general. Um, it's not for any specific god, but it is a place for you to express your faith if you should wish to. Not a lot of particular care has been. Are there any like representatives there? There are some. There's a few other pilgrims who look as though they're stopping there to pray, but there's no. There's nothing to. Specifically, um, there's nothing specifically for your god. In this okay, I, I guess I'm just going to wander around the temple district, see if there's any people of interest. Okay, so are you heading talk. left first or right first? Towards the crowd or away from the crowd? Um, do we have people moving away from a certain location? Yeah, because to the right is where the gate is locked and there's not a whole lot of interest down there. Most people are going to the left, where the rest of the party is, deeper okay. in the city. Okay, I'll, I'll probably take a look, see where the crowd's going. Okay. Um, you can hear the sounds of festivity picking up as you make your way through, and everyone who is following the orc, is anyone peeling off at any point to look around, or are you just miming the orc through the temple ward? I'd say Jordanok probably wouldn't follow along. Okay. I'd say Faulkner would probably peel off towards the smaller group because that would have piqued his interest of why people were going towards a locked gate. Okay. Um. Anyone else? 
Peck probably peeling off to irritate one of the people giving a sermon by mimicking him. <laughs> <laughs> I like this Kenku. <laughs> Approve. <laughs> I will uh, die for this Kenku. I'm going to take a look at the promotion. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> As you pass by the proselytizers, one of them goes, Your sins will find you banned forever from the land of ancestors. Forever! Yes! Itch, my son! Forever from the land of the ancestors! Itch, my son! <laughs> the life for you will be a long and difficult journey. Long and difficult! <laughs> and, uh, can I help you, Bart? Man, I am not so, hearing any of this. <laughs> oh, I, I, I gotta undo RTX voice. I think it's fucking right here. Like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'll maybe do that. Um, how's this? I hear sound stuff. farther away, but clearer. How's that? That sounds you sound, Yep. Hello? Exactly the same. Okay. Yeah. Basically, Peck was just annoying the shit out of him. You didn't miss too much out of my end. <laughs> I mean, I got that consensus, but I like hearing the whole conversation. <laughs> I <Yeah>. do too. <laughs> Where's your father, boy? Uh. <laughs> Peck just sits there and thinks. Now, son, I need you to get me a pound of potatoes, ten onions, and ten pounds of meat. Fuck! <laughs> and sprints off. <laughs> <laughs> Go back home! He yells at you. Back home! <laughs> Take off. Um, those of you peeling off, um, you notice that there is graffiti here, too, uh, by the gate. Um, and it says the same thing. Um, beware the second midnight. There are, this is a very well kept um, ward, but there, as you get closer to the gate, you notice that there are a strange number of rats just swarming under the, the seal of the gate back and forth. Huh. Hmm. I'm going to go take a closer look. Okay. Um, make a perception check. Well, that's a fucking bummer. Uh, whopping eight. An eight? There's a lot of rats here. <laughs> <laughs> weird. And you're wondering why no one is sacrificing the rats, because there's such a big problem here. So I have a question. Yes. Because I picked the urchin background, it says I have a pet mouse. Is my mouse freaking out in any way, oh. shape, or form? I did not know you had a, a pet mouse. Oh. <laughs> um, I'm liking the characters more and more as I learn more. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know that you had a pet mouse. But yeah, it came... It, 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 somehow I have two pet mouses in my other possessions. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I'm only supposed to have one. <laughs> I didn't know you were supposed to get any with the urchin um, background. So importantly here, Chris, what are their names? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. Yeah, that's one of them. What's the name? I'm going to call you Mouse and Mouse 2. <laughs> so they are currently curled up in your pocket trembling because you never take them to parties. And they don't have <laughs> You haven't socialized your mice. <laughs> yeah, <they> don't <laughs> Hey, to be fair, I never go to parties, so they can deal with it. <laughs> You're probably trembling even harder. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Interesting. <laughs> All right. Um, as you walk towards the gate, Ryan, you want to tell us about your character? I don't have a whole lot. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a dwarf, and I have a club. <laughs> That's all I got. Is this, what's his name? Working in progress. Uh, Club Boy. There we go. <laughs> Finally, someone as good as naming as I am. <laughs> or Dwarf with Club, if you will. Okay, now oh, find shit. out what that means in, in uh, Dwarvish. Then that's your name. Clubbo. There we go. 
Clubbo. Yes. I like that. That's fine for you. Where's our English to Norse translator? Oh, yeah. No, I have a Dwarf Fortress translator because that's an entire language. <laughs> Clubbo is here to Arget. invoke a degree Arget. of a good clubbing. Arget. That's it. it. Literally translates to club boy. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> All right. Um, as you make your way through the gate from this ward to the trade ward, um, you see immediately in front of you a at the intersection of four roads a giant statue. Um, and on the left is a stockade filled with prisoners clamped into stocks with signs that say thief hung around their necks. To the left. That's my phone. That was your phone? Yeah, that's my that phone. That was a very aggressive Jesus. vibration. <laughs> oh no. Calm her down, Ryan. <laughs> Calm it down. Bring it back. <laughs> to the left, shouts and laughter echo from the courtyard. Porters run back and forth, hauling trunks and bags back and forth from a line of carriages parked close together behind a wrought iron fence. Behind them stands a very tall, grand hotel. A rich estate on the right is decked with vibrant banners of blue, gold, and green. Someone in luxurious clothing, perhaps the estate's lord, sits on the seat of a dunk tank, his fine robes already soaked with water. A servant lifts a thick blanket from his shoulders as he waves to the next contestants, a father and two daughters who rush forward with balls to throw at the target. Past the estate, a scattered market stand rises like islands above the crowds of people who swarm the square. Dust rises in little clouds as feet trample the grass, and you can smell all of the fair food here. The melted butter, the sugar, something warm and nutty, possibly alcoholic. Um, a lot of the permanent buildings here are closed off from because of the festival, but you can tell that during normal operating hours, this is a place that um, is alive with trade. Um, but there are a lot of taverns here, and they are open. And you can tell because all of the drunk people are spilling out onto the streets, tripping everyone else. Ah, Wisconsin. <laughs> 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 there are also a lot of dancers um, who are dancing to multiple different musical beats. So as you make your way through this ward, sometimes you get like this tuneless crash of sound beating against your ears, but people seem to be into it. Um, here and there, there's games here as well. Um, and there are occasionally shady looking characters that sidle through the clumps of people looking this way and that and shoving their hands into their pockets. There are bookies who are waving their ledgers in the air very excitedly. And as the orc enters this area, some of the bookies look at you, do a double take. Hey, sir! Hey! Come here! Compete for us! We need... Come on! You'll make such a lot of money! You'll make really good money! Come over here! And they're trying to, like, pull you in multiple different directions to come and play the games that they are uh, taking bets outside of. What games? What games, you ask? Hey, Peck fucked off. <laughs> yeah. Peck fucked off to the market, which I think is this way, right? This is where the market is. Yeah. Damn. Wait, are, am I supposed to be looking at something on screen, or is it just like Padley gets the view only? <laughs> what? 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 It's, it's all theater of mind right now, Justin. Relax. <laughs> yeah. I am confused because you were like, you were talking about like, eh, whatever. He said he was going to the market, and Amanda has said that the, the market's nearby. Okay, okay. <laughs> Because when Padley said it, it sounded like he was yeah, looking at a map or something. That's all. Yes, Amanda is showing us a full 3D physical model that she has built over the weekend. We all only are the ones who get to see it. You know, Everybody oh, no, might I have believe it. <laughs> I, I, would. Have I would believe it. <laughs> That's only in her Sunday campaign. Hey now. Hey now. It took a long time to build that <clears throat> part of the castle. It was cool. Um... So the game's here. There's a cup shuffle again. There's an arrow shoot. There's a tug of war. There's the dunk pit. Um, Fuck the cup shuffle. 
<laughs> a lot of other people go, but I'm probably going to start wandering my way towards the uh, arrow shoot. Oh, God. Uh, I will probably be uh, passing on most of the games, but still looking for people's of interest. Uh, maybe maybe even if some guards are nearby, maybe I'll start uh, talking to them, because I don't think Cassius has made his way to this district yet. No, he seems to be behind you quite a ways. Ryan, is there anything that catches your eye? Um, I'm wondering if I can use my club in my bow and arrow. I, I'm just kind of studying the two objects. You don't got no club, Ryan. <laughs> do, you, do you want to use them together, or...? I want to shoot my club. Uh, <laughs> <what? fake. laughs> We're going to have another uh, dead kid on our hands shortly. <laughs> oh no! Hey, we, we just, don't know we just him. got rid of one of them. We literally don't know him. <laughs> Touche. Um, <clears throat> you can certainly attempt to shoot your club with your bow if you would like to. Okay. Awesome. Make a dexterity check with disadvantage. <laughs> and uh, he's outside the city limits, I assume. Yeah. No, he's inside. I teleported oh. him. So we didn't have to go through that again. <laughs> just, just like I got teleported. Yeah. Yep. Roll again and take the lower. If you roll again and take the lower. What's your modifier for dex? Uh, two. Minus one. Also, you're going to at least get a four. <laughs> don't need it. So yeah, four. All I heard was, I don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Those would be one. very comical to view if I were anywhere. Oh, <laughs> so it doesn't work because you can't shoot clubs with air bows. <laughs> That's the best answer right there. Yeah. <laughs> you go through all the motions. And, well, try, try again with the crossbow. <laughs> yeah. But you try really hard and. Now I need you to make a dex check to avoid getting kneecapped by your own club as it falls off. <laughs> oh, that was a 12. <laughs> You're ready for this. You didn't really think it would work. You jump out of the way and your club hits the ground. Yes. You have now, you have now, someone make a perception check. Anyone who wants to notice this, make a perception check. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, well, I'm not, in, I'm not in that part of town. So. Absolutely. I'm... Oh! Damn it. 22. <laughs> nice. Wait, is this in the Temple District? No. Okay, no then no, I, I wouldn't be nearby. Yeah, that's what I was saying. <laughs> so everyone who is in the Market District notices this dwarf who, for some reason, decided to try and shoot a club and then stopped the way of this falling club. <laughs> Not with Jornox is six. He's looking for some meat. <laughs> Pat's just going to tilt his head. And he just kind of looks super bemused. And he just sits <laughs> down and he watches to see what happens next. <laughs> <clears throat> so you're looking, you're trying to speak to guards, uh, Athlon? Uh, yeah, guards, anyone who looks like a distinguished individual who might know more about the city than okay. common people. There are some, as you wait around, there are some uh, rich-looking people who get out of the the um, temp the large temple as the service lets out. Okay, I'll, yeah. I'll probably uh, approach some of the people and just uh, inquire about, like, hey, do you know, like... Do you have, do you know any connections with, like, anyone who would kind of know the whereas about uh, people going in and out of the city? A lot of them kind of give you side-eye and just very brief answers um, before they kind of scuttle off away from you. Oh, my apologies. I'm also going to just pull out the paper and just show them uh, the document as well. Just so they're not as suspicious or scared. Um, what was the name of the family again? I'm sorry. Um, you know, I didn't give them a family name. I I just gave them first names. Uh, because I, I didn't know if... I just wanted to make it so it kind of fits into your story of yeah. the campaign better. Just make it a little bit of a loose fit. Okay. Uh, if, if there is a particular family name I should be using, we can go with that. 
No, um, I just didn't know if you had. I couldn't remember if you had given them the last name, and I had forgotten it. Uh, uh, you know, for now, let's now. just let's just not worry about that mm. particular family name. But we'll, we can discuss uh, family name later. Okay. Just fine. keep the game moving. Um, okay. Um, so they look at the sheet. Um, uh, I do know someone who might know something, but you might want to wait until after the festival when the market opens up again. Mm. All the vendors have escaped town to escape the zoo, if you know what I mean. Um, but if you if you stick around for a couple of days, I'm sure someone in in the merchant guild will know something. Okay. And then uh, I'll probably bring up like the the family business, like the whole uh, what was it? Ah, I, I gotta freaking bring up my notes again because I'm trying to remember the backstory <laughs> and I'm having trouble because it's been a weird week for me. Oh, uh, one second, sorry. Ah, ba 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 ba. Sorry, give me a moment. Give me a moment. Blah 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 blah. blah. Okay, so yeah, I guess I'd be looking for like the fine textiles merchants. Yes, um, there are some of those, but again, uh, all of our merchants are probably either out enjoying the festival or out of town to escape all of the commotion. Uh, if you if you wait until the first regular market day after the festival, it should not be hard at all to find a prominent uh, textile vendor. Hmm. I can think of a couple of hands. All right, I will take that into consideration. I thank you for your time, and I apologize apologies for startling you. I am quite aware uh, my my brand does unsettle people. That you're an orc in a civilized city it is rather unsettling. I won't lie, but it's not your fault for being an orc. Yes, shoot, shoot. Hmm, indeed. I'll take my leave. You enjoy the rest of the festival. You as well. Um, do you want to do anything else in the temple district? Mm. I'll just wander a little further into the city, see if I can get more info. Okay. So the rest of you who are in the market <clears throat> square, what does anyone want to do? Does anyone want to do anything? Uh, I'm going to see if, I don't know, ask a guard or something. If they're standing around, if they know where the academy is. Um, these particular guards, it's very, they're, they're also, um, the guards here are, uh, standing guard in front of all of the different gates. Um, there's a couple of open gates and there's a locked gate in this district as well. Um, they haven't, there's a lot of graffiti in this district too, that they haven't covered up. Um, they're just kind of, they don't seem that worried about it. Um. Do you want to make your way towards guards by an open gate or a locked gate? Uh, locked gate. Locked gate, okay. Um, as you approach them, they kind of look up. Hey, what are you doing? This part of town's closed. I'm sorry to be a bother. I'm actually just looking for the academy, if, if you wouldn't mind pointing me in the right direction. That's in the harbor ward. That's in the old city. Keep going east. That's what I'm looking for. Fuck. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> there was like a specific phrase that I was looking for. I can't fucking think of it. <laughs> so I guess I'm gonna start heading east. Okay. Uh, as you turn, you notice that there are a lot of rats swarming the rubbish heaps here as well. Um, and they hmm. see you get you get kind of a, a strange feeling from these particular rats. Interesting. They're not like your normal rats. They're um, not rats. <laughs> I'm getting made fun of. Do I see anything like especially odd about them, or do they just bizarrely? Is there just a bizarre number of them? Make a perception check. Yeet. Uh, can, Faulkner, can Faulkner also make a perception check on the rats? Would be a twenty. <laughs> um. The brains of these rats are all exposed. Oh. And there's a purple haze seeping out the sides, kind of almost <laughs> like, um, uh, what's it called? It's that fake fog? Miasma. Miasma? No, 
It's like mist. No, it's like literally like. An aura. <laughs> no, I know all of those words. <laughs> it's literally it's like, like in a haunted house, the fake fog in a haunted house. Fog machine. Oh. Thank you. Okay. It's... That's still fog. <laughs> it is. <laughs> but it's a specific scary fog. <laughs> <laughs> it's spooky. It's scary. <laughs> um. Is a spooky fog. Do they do the rats seem to be coming from anywhere specifically? They Other are... than that gate that I failed to look at adequately. <laughs> uh, if you want to trace where they're coming from, they are scurrying all along the wall um, where that closed gate is being watched by those guards. Um, and that purple haze is just seeping out from the seams of their skulls where the brain disappears in under bone. How do you fail that perception check? So, like, if you failed that perception check, would you just look at the rats and be like, "Yep, dead rats"? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Dibs rats. Hmm. Weird. The brains are sticking out of something. Is that normal? Yes. <laughs> yeah, but it's a vegetable. Ah, they got hats for the rats. It's fine. They got the hats. Oh, they got things all the time at home. Rats. Oh. Look at the, the, these rats are even dressed up for the festivities. Everyone's happy. <laughs> um, tricky. Can I start looking for a way past the guards? Like a way into where they are guarding. The wizard's going to do an illegal. Oh my uh, god, I was not prepared for this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so funny. Um, <laughs> yes, you can. Um, there are a couple of alleyways that you can check out if you'd like to. I'm gonna start looking down the alleyways. Okay. Uh, make a general just investigation check to see if any of these alleyways lead anywhere. That Fuck. Uh, that is a 19. Okay. Um. They, the way the city is built is that every part of the city is walled in. So the temple district was walled in and separated only by gates. So that you can't get through the gates without the notice of the guards. You could try to climb the wall itself further down if you would like. But you don't see any immediate place to... The wall does not seem to be in disrepair. Um, it doesn't look like you can squeeze through, like, a hole made from some, like, past conflict that just never got fixed or anything like that. Um, and there's a lot of guards in this in this town. There's starting to be a lot of guards, more than you saw in the past two parts of town. And they seem to be slowly congregating and just keeping a very wary eye out. Hmm. Guard sus. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Rat sus. Just make a run for it. <laughs> <laughs> Saw rats vent. Make a run Find for a it. Hat. Find a hard hat and a clipboard and a yellow vest, and they will you. I have you no know, deal. Do I have a disguise kit? <laughs> do you? <laughs> I'm looking. No, I don't. Dang it. <laughs> right, I'm going to think on this. <clears throat> doing anything entertaining anymore or is he just boring now? I don't know, Ryan. What do you want to be doing? <laughs> that his crossbow club didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> After seeing the door sad, Peck will come up. Sit down with him next to him while he's staring at the club. Pat him on the back. He's like, that sucks. <laughs> I kind of look at him with kind of like tears in my eye. I just kind of rest my head on his shoulder. Peck, Peck will just pat him on the head. So, can I ask an out-of-character question here? Yes. 
How did Ryan's dwarf get in the city with weapons? That's a good point. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, what I was. That, what I assumed he was for, outside eh? of the oh, city. Man, that's why I, I was. <clears throat> wondering why. Ryan, he have one? Do you want to bribe someone fifty gold to bring your weapons into the city? Like club them to death instead? <laughs> no. You can we can retroactively run that combat if you would like to. My money's on two rounds till death. Taking all bits. I I got three rounds. Ooh, he's, he's ambitious. <laughs> One round here. Feel... You have 50 gold? Like you said, I did. Yeah. If you take a lifestyle plus your His starting... lifestyle was poor. Oh. Wow. How much gold do I give him for that, by the way? Because yeah, no one gave me gold yet. Yeah, I didn't do that either. Well, I, I had the same thing. It was 10 gold and 65 silver, because I'm also poor. Okay, so 10 gold. So you could not afford that, Brian. You could! No, you could. No. No. <laughs> no. You could. Wait a minute. Is he really you could if you offered hand jobs behind the uh, the guard post for it. Yeah, Ryan, how charming are you? <laughs> Better than his first stats, which he rolled. I legitimately, we almost had a character with a three first stat. Yep. <laughs> that would have been awesome. <laughs> I was pretty excited for a three int character. I think Ryan was too. So I think at three int, you can barely make sentences. Yeah. <laughs> That's the threshold for speech. He, he rolled so poorly that gold. 50 gold. No, no, 10 gold, 6 silver, 65 silver. 65. Yeah. 65. So. Not only did Ryan roll so low that none of his stats were a 13, his modifiers added up to, like, negative three. Yep. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I really wanted you to have a three-inch character. It would have been fun. Holy <laughs> shit. Anna just gave me the touch of death. <laughs> Her hands oh, are, like, below freezing. Bruh, welcome. Yeah. <laughs> trust me, trust me, Justin. You will learn. You will learn. It doesn't the stop. Bread, the, pan, the, the bread pan? Yeah. Uh, probably dirty. So what's happening in the city right now? What's happening in the city right now is everyone here is dancing and drinking and eating fair food and playing games. And... Yep. Peck will quickly pat the dwarf on the back. So he can get back his club. Or, oh, he doesn't have a club. He doesn't have a club. <laughs> I don't have anything. Your club got taken away at the no. city gates. Peck's got taken away. <laughs> sad um, no. Peck will run off the ditch. It's a no. <laughs> the club is actually a bagpipe. Oh, no. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> There are a couple of stands that you get the sense that they're selling what's supposed to be sacri altar sacrifice, ac sacrificial things for the goddesses, but they just happen to be the items that you need for your grocery list. Yep. So <laughs> you buy overpriced salted meats and uh, potatoes, and yep. you're done with your shopping. I, I imagine Jornok would be looking into some meats as well. Okay. <laughs> Oh, if Peck saw Jornoff, Peck is just going to fucking stare for a little bit. <laughs> I'll okay, stare exactly back briefly. How long, Padley? I'll stare back briefly, then I'll go back to my meats. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> I, I look down. I don't say anything. I look, I, I tilt my head at him. Covered in plates? Looking at, like, the scales. Mm hmm. Scales. Are you naked? <laughs> <laughs> I reach down and I pat the, I pat, I pat the leather loincloth. No. Peck like almost like leans for a glance. <laughs> oh god. That's where I would have asked, are you? <laughs> I I I I I like tap his beak with my tail. Because <laughs> he gets too close. No. Push the head back like <laughs> Rude Kinda of Peck seems a little bit like infuriated a little bit. He kinda of sits there and steps back. Rubs his beak a little bit, like Mean Iguana. 
<laughs> oh, got him. oh, we're going back to Not this now. again. <laughs> <laughs> I continue with my meats and I start to walk away. Okay. If you want to buy meats, uh, smoked meats are going to be about five copper a pound. Would I have I will... a for that or am I paying out of Pest's pocket? I will buy a pound of it. Okay. So take out five copper from your inventory. Um, Actually, you know what? I'll buy two pounds. I'll drop a silver on it. Okay, you are so kind. Good spender. You're very kind to these local farmers. <laughs> buy local. Who are already dramatically overpriced their shit. That yep. <laughs> That's not wrong. <laughs> um, as you guys are making your way, uh, Bert, did you have any ideas about what you want to do? I think I'm just going to start heading east to the... Uh, Academy, that's the word. <laughs> okay. Um, Ryan, give me some of your intelligence. I'm missing some. <laughs> oh, boy. You have intelligence? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. He has no modifier to intelligence. What are you talking about? <laughs> we need to get him down to three, Padley. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can you take a decrease as you level up? <laughs> That'd be great. Be <laughs> Is there a mirror you can look in to restat yourself at some point? Oh, shit. Um, suddenly, as you guys are sort of chilling out, looking around, trying to figure out what to do, a mounted herald clatters into the middle of the street, makes three short blasts on his trumpet, and declares that the parade is about to begin. Behind him, parade floats are already making their way down an alleyway to the main road. Um, floats, horses, parade characters alike resplendent in shimmering paint and rich, vibrant clothes. Distantly comes the sound of a band tuning up. Neat. Oh, Peck is bolting to go watch. <laughs> okay. I can just imagine Peck and like Naruto running with his sack of potatoes down the street. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty accurate. Yeah. <laughs> It's just bolting to look at the parade. Jarnock appears disinterested. Disinterested, okay. Art has no Pop. meaning for lizard folk. Faulkner <laughs> is going to go here. I'm guessing he's going to hear it and just wander over there because he ain't doing much right now. Get in, get in the damn campaign, Faulkner. God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to keep walking. <laughs> I'm on my quest. <laughs> Make a perception check, Peck. Peck? Yeah. Take my way down. Stop ripping the cord. Uh, 18. Um, they're very beautifully decorated parade floats. But you notice that the wheels are very thick and heavy. Heavier than you would expect to be on just a regular wagon. It's a trap. And... They're very tall for a wagon, and they've tried, they've done a very good job of decorating these floats, but you can see bars on the sides of some of these wagons. Okay, just gonna tilt this head. Kind of like trying to run to get a better view of what's going on underneath the floats. Okay. Are you trying to, are you running right up to the floats? I mean, there's a huge crowd there, probably not. Okay, so are you running to the edge of the crowd, or are you stealthing up to the floats? I suppose if you can see an opportunity, you would stealth up to the back of the float. Make a stealth check. I am sneaky, but I roll like dick. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> As you burst out of the, uh, the crowd with your bags of groceries, um... <laughs> The conductor of the parade goes, Oh, no, 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 little fellow. Get back in line. You can watch the parade with the rest of the folk. I'm in the parade. <laughs> <laughs> Looking around like shifty eyes. <laughs> <laughs> My groceries. <laughs> <laughs> He'll do a little dance. <laughs> <laughs> Performance check. Oh, fuck me. To 
see how good your damage okay. is. Faulkner, is. Is Faulkner watching this unfold? <laughs> uh, yeah, you can be. Nice. Once again, once again, you want to just have a good time at the festival, and this little bird person has made a scene. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> um, you do a weird little. It's like a. It's like a. A drunk version of clogging mixed with tap dancing mixed with line dancing. It's a combination of everything I've ever seen. It is. <laughs> do you dance as well as you speak? Yep. And uh, he's seen it. He can do it. <laughs> the parade. The parade uh, guide looks at you. Uh, I don't recall having an act like that. Uh, what? Uh, what float are you on, boy? Just like looks around. Just immediately just his hand out to the one he's right next to. <laughs> You're on the protecting the wildlife of Pendarvis floats. Protecting the wildlife of Pendarvis. <laughs> mm. Well, you could you would make a good addition. Good addition. <laughs> <laughs> that cloak. Uh, Put those groceries mm -hmm. inside the float. Mm-hmm. Are you cooking a snack for us all later? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I like how deep his voice got for a moment. Yeah. <laughs> Ask the driver to show you how to open the door and then stand on the float and please don't get off of it. We wouldn't want to run you over. Okie dokes! Um, Peck will sprint and follow his instructions but uh, throw his stuff on <clears throat> Float, but then definitely take a really deep looky loo underneath the float. <laughs> <laughs> and there are very heavy wheels. This is this. It's a war float. It, it is. <laughs> um, the undercarriage of this has been very heavily reinforced because the wagon that sits on top of the chassis is very strong and very heavy. It seems like it's bound with steel and reinforced. <laughs> Your restraint is admirable. <laughs> when it comes to Padley, you know. <laughs> uh, and as you um, take a peek inside, there are chains hanging from the walls. Uh, are there... What the fuck? Are they just chains? Ran is it like an open container with chains on the inside walls? It is an open container with chains and manacles hanging from the walls. Bird can do math. I mean, not really. And by bird, I mean... Yeah, I was gonna say you're talking to the wrong guy here. Heck, <laughs> this is gonna get confusing. This is gonna be the whole campaign. Heck's gonna look in, kind of go, fuck, <laughs> close the thing, hop back out. I was already <laughs> forgot what the hell to do. Grab his groceries again, and then bolt off into the crowd. Wait, boy. <laughs> nope, he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Right Faulkner's just gonna start clapping. <laughs> you see this very perturbed young bird person just hurry by with his arms full of groceries. One, and once again, Jornot looks on with utter confusion. I don't know what the fuck is going on. This is weird. I don't know. Great show. 10 out of 10. Uh. By this point, Athlon, I'll say that you have made it to the uh, market. Okay. And have seen the tail end of this bird fleeing the parade. <laughs> that hasn't started yet. <laughs> Just chuckle again. Uh, is anyone actually following the parade? Or... Are you kind of just going your own way? Eh, Faulkner's gonna be following the parade. Seems interesting. Okay. okay. I, <laughs> I fucked off. <laughs> <laughs> yep. The, the parade actually backtracks back into part of town that you've already been to. And <laughs> as Sorry. you follow the parade, you can see the, the herald going ahead of you into different parts of town announcing the parade. And you're kind of looking around wondering why you followed the parade when you backtrack and you come back the way you come. Um, but you make it eventually back into the part of town that you started in. And the parade, it takes a very strange turn. Instead of following the main road, one of the locked gates is open and the parade makes its way down um, an avenue of road that has been boarded up. It's almost like the entire road has been palisaded for hundreds of feet through this part of town. 
Um, and there's the Palisade boards have been whitewashed, so they look nice. There are um, there are uh, doors piercing the walls at regular intervals. And why don't you go ahead and make a protection check for me? Oh boy. I got a 15. That is just what you needed. Hooray! An increased presence of guards and soldiers, not only on the road, lining the route of the parade through this weird tunnel, but also along the battlements and in the towers. Looking down, archers at the ready, mages at the ready. They're looking very intent, and they're looking a little bit nervous. The day has gotten, has ground on, and they're starting to get uneasy. You can sense, there's a sense of uneasiness amongst the guards. Hmm. I don't know if I particularly like where this is going. <laughs> I'm going to try and slink off and try to hide a little bit, just in case. Okay. And where was um, this taking place? This is taking place in a part of town that based on what you found of uh, the rest of the town already should be another ward, but it's through, it's a, it's a locked gate that was opened to allow the parade to, the parade to pass. And it's literally just a very long stretch of whitewashed palisade walls that have been built up, um, stretching along this entire portion of the parade route for several hundred feet or more. <clears throat> Sense danger. <laughs> and the parade finally dumps out into the old part of town, the new town. And you enter and you find yourself in a part of the city that is visibly older than the rest. There's stones in the building that are aged. Um, there's paving stones that are smoothed over and sinking in where generations of traffic have worn them down. There's blackened patches and pop marks on the battlement, probably from past conflicts. And Occasionally between the buildings, you can spot piles of rubble where it was shoved against the walls and then forgotten. There are seagulls wheeling overhead, screaming. Um, there's a brisk wind that whistles around the battlements, carrying the smell of brine and the sea. Um, and the parade leads you through the center of town to, on one, past on one side, the military barracks, and on the other side, a pretty wealthy looking estate. There are large buildings here, um, two, three, four stories high. Um, Excuse me. Um, and there are a lot of stands here. There's more food. There's more games. There's a strange arena kind of built ad hoc in the middle of town. There's a jousting tournament taking place um, in one of the lawns. There's a military parade happening on the grounds of the, of the barracks. Um, and there's an amphitheater where a bunch of plays are taking place. And the parade um, gets to the middle of town and disbands turns around as soon as the uh, the crowd has made it through that weird whitewashed tunnel and goes back into the tunnel and the gates are closed and locked behind it. Worst parade ever. <laughs> <laughs> Do they even throw candy out? Nope. <laughs> oh. It's one of those lame parades. There was a band though. True. So, is this kind of like a, a part of town that I would have gone to to get to? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. This is where the Academy was scribe, described to you as being. Hmm. Okay. Tech, you have followed the parade as well? Did you follow the crowd that was following the parade, or...? I don't know. I feel like Peck might have almost run back to deliver the groceries. Okay. Being a little spooked by the stuff that he saw. Okay. His ADD um, is definitely not that strong. <laughs> where did everyone else end up? I know a couple of you followed the parade. Uh, Athlon, where'd you go? Um. Well, you were mentioning I was going to the market. Yep, you were in the market, and that's where the parade started. Oh, okay. Um, I would probably just, uh, look at the parade from the market for a little while, but also be looking around the area, see if there's any, anything interesting to catch my eye. 
No, nothing in particular, just general looking. You might have seen a lizard smack a bird in the beak with his tail. Can I roll to see if I saw a <laughs> lizard smack a bird in the beak with his tail? Yes, go ahead and make a perception check. That one! <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see shit. <laughs> In fact, right. you might have seen the opposite happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have seen nothing. There, You are just... There's a lot going on. How can I tell where you're going to look? <laughs> and there's a lot of interesting things happening everywhere. Okay. Uh, Ryan, where did you want to end up? Uh, I'm just walking around just seeing if I can't find any like pockets to pick. <laughs> Session one, starting shit. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I am a pirate. So. Yeah. Uh, yes, there are. This is a festival. There are many potential pockets to pick. Go ahead and make a sleight of hand check. Yeah, I'm fucking good at it. Hey. <laughs> 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 Damn. That's the only good roll he's getting this entire sash. Pockets at the same time. I I rolled the seventeen, so. Ooh. <laughs> Very well. I missed it by that one. <laughs> uh, yeah, you managed to slink your hand into a pocket. Uh, and you, you pick your marks well. You didn't pick a random townie or a random peasant from the country. You picked someone who looked like they were affluent. And you managed to grab a fistful of coins and pull your hand back out of these voluminous silk robes. Without, you are pretty sure, being detected. You can add uh, 10 gold to your inventory. Awesome. Hey, first profit of the game, folks. Yeah. Hey, man, I made five gold. Oh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> he made it legitimate. First illegitimate profit of the game. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Is there any other kind? <laughs> Not for you. So are you just like hanging back, picking pockets? Pretty much, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Enjoying the sights. Of people's money in your hands? Yeah. <laughs> wow, what, what a way to put it. And so many beautiful coin purses. <laughs> the, the, the gold is gleaming, the birds are out. Um, the birds are running, panicking for some reason. <laughs> the rats have brains. Well, I mean, all rats have brains. Yeah, I was going to say, that one's kind of like... <laughs> Not exactly a perception <laughs> check. Um, go ahead and make just a general sleight of hand check to see how well you do for the rest of the day pickpocketing right. people. Oh, God, no. This one matters. Fifteen. Oh my God! I rolled a fourteen. <laughs> Easy yeah. game. You just just squeaking by. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, you you do pretty well for yourself. You find a you find like a pocket watch. You find you know a bunch of silver and copper, just like this change. Find a, a bracelet. You managed to take the earrings off of some person at one point. Nice. Um, a drunk person who may or may not have been female. You weren't sure. You don't care. <laughs> um, and a and like five six more gold. So a watch, a bracelet, some earrings. You might need to add a custom item for this. Yeah. Should I just put in like jewelry or something? No, put in because jewelry could mean anything. Uh, I don't. How do I add again? I can show them. I'm so long. Um. So those of you in the harbor area, uh, what would you like to do? I don't know, that Kenku seemed pretty fun. I'm gonna see if he's around. <laughs> the Kenku... The Kenku, as you look around, is not there. The Kenku, the last you saw him, ran away from the parade. And is missing. Oh, dang. Hmm. The orc's gone. So that's my other one. Is Lizard Man still around? I think Lizard Man was in your general vicinity, yeah. Cool. It's gonna start following the Lizard Man. Well, okay. I'm at a party. You look cool. <laughs> <laughs> Heck, as you try to make your way home, um, you get to the part of town where you normally cut through the gate to get to your district, and the gate is shut, and there are 
there's a very sizable group of guards standing in front of it, um, arms crossed, mm -hmm. armed. They don't look like they're uh, friendly, patient, wanting to chat. Do I recognize any of these men? Uh, make an intelligence check. Uh, 18. No, sorry, 17. 16. That's a number. <laughs> 15, 14, 13, 12. <laughs> yeah, they might as well just start counting, man. <laughs> um, you don't. There are uh, the guards that stand front that normally stand guard in front of this gate are not there. Um, the city seems to have brought <coughs> extra people to okay. deal with all of the crowds. Uh, these are strange men. You have never seen them before. I'll start shuffling in my pocket because I'm assuming I have paperwork. You do have paperwork. Yeah, I'll start shuffling in my pocket to get paperwork. I'll come up to the guards. Hello! <laughs> Take out the paperwork and hold it up for them. Hi! <clears throat> and he kind of takes it, reads it. Why are you want to come through here right now? <clears throat> um, dropping off potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this kid, <laughs> Your delivery is going to have to wait, I'm afraid. We're not supposed to let anyone through these gates right now. Ha. I live here. Hit him with the sad eyes. <laughs> You'll hit him with the sad eyes. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> <laughs> Your sad eyes hold no power here, is what her translation was. <laughs> Son, you might live here. But trust me when I tell you, you won't want to be there tonight. Yep. I'm not opening the gates to anyone for anything. Yep. <clears throat> Brusque. Inside. I don't know who that is. I'm not from here. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine him, like, shuffling around. <laughs> It is basically is because he has a really hard time talking. So anytime he's like stuttering in his head, uh huh. Please. <laughs> Sorry, kid. Those are the orders. Anyone who's out here belongs out here. Anyone who's in there belongs in there. There's nothing I can do. That's what I was paid to do. Ah. Uh. Brusque. I don't know who that is, kid. I don't live in this city. Ah! Is there anyone else you can go to for the night? You'll be a lot safer there, I can guarantee it. I live there! Well, you're not going to want to be there tonight. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I assume this conversation happens for like 20 or so minutes. Might go for a little it bit. Goes for a while, yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna let you in, Brosk. <laughs> I guess eventually, uh, Peck would get frustrated and kind of start. Would would Peck know of any sneaky bullshit ways to get back in? No, Peck knows how to hide once he's inside. Can Peck fly? No, Kankus can't fly. That's their like whole Can lore. Kenku's want to fly. Wall or in? Mm -hmm. Can Peck start looking for some buildings to start doing some amateur monk bullshit <laughs> to try to leap <laughs> over this wall? Sure. Okay. Make an investigation check. What does anyone else want to be doing while Peck is looking for a way to <clears throat> break the barrier? Um, I'm going to go up to somebody who looks important. And by looks important, it translate that as you may, being a lizard folk <laughs> in a civilized place who's not used to being in a civilized place. I, I'm also probably going to be like, since they told me the market wasn't really going to be too accessible until like after the festivities, I'll probably just like follow and watch the parade for a little while. Okay. <clears throat> So you will have made your way through all of those same areas that everyone else did, and you find your way um, into the harbor ward, where the parade ends, and you watch the float circle around and go back through the weird, uh, palisaded tunnel. And I apologize, I kind of stepped on Brian's toes. You can go ahead and do his stuff. Yeah, I was just, uh, telling Go ahead, uh, Echo. 
Okay. Um, I'm so. Anyways, like I said, I'm going to go up to random person who I think looks important, and I and I'll ask them, "Where go learn things?" <laughs> oh God! Uh, the street musician stops his strumming. <laughs> yes. <laughs> turns and looks at you. What? Where go learn things? And he seems to finally take in your appearance. Are you talking about the academy? Don't know what academy is. It's a school <laughs> where you learn to read and write very complicated things for smart people. Learn Do maths you want there. Learn maths, yeah. Learn. Uh -huh magic there possibly some magic yeah uh-huh where school academy uh, it's really close to here do you want to learn math magic or healing what difference <laughs> what's your difference <laughs> for <laughs> what? You got a character sheet. Look it up. <laughs> <laughs> My int is negative one. If you're curious. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> That's not as bad as I thought it would be. I was. I was <laughs> Yeah, okay, Fun fact, my int score, my int modifier is minus two, so get wrecked. <laughs> hey, Peck is just as smart as you, Atco. Well, I've got a party of dumbasses. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> At least there's one of us here that had some monocle of intelligence. <laughs> Except for Bird. Except for Bird. <laughs> I'm pretty well, average all around. <laughs> It makes a big difference, lizard guy, because math and magic and healing are totally different things. Do you want to make boo boos go bye bye? <laughs> Look yeah, for magic. About right. Look for magic. Take one thing, go different place. You want to steal? No, no steal. Different plane. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> this is which, which way? Which way, Academy? Academy, um, south. South. The I sun is south. there right now, so that means that south is behind us. Know where south is, thank you. Well, I don't know, because you didn't know what math was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at this point, Faulkner's, like, visibly laughing at this conversation. <laughs> I start walking south. <laughs> Can you follow him? He, the, the, the musician is looking at you. You want to show him where the academy is? You know, I probably should. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He eats someone. I don't know. I don't made this drummer didn't get eaten. <laughs> He's just gonna start walking that way, laughing hysterically. <laughs> Jordan notices, but pays no mind to the laughter. <laughs> he doesn't even know. I mean, maybe he's not even laughing at him. He doesn't know. Yeah. Um, I'm just walking my ass to the academy. Yeah. So you're walking your ass to the academy. At the same time that this lizard man is walking his ass to the academy, followed by someone else <laughs> laughing. <laughs> someone else that doesn't know math. <laughs> um, and you all find yourself kind of in the same area because the road that leads to the academy uh, ends and goes to the same place. There's three large buildings of learning. There's a large library and there's a bunch of dorms. Um, arranged between the academy and the military barracks, which is on the other side. Um, and there's a big sign over the academy drive that says, Academy of Amelin. Hey, Lizard, I think you found it! Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Bird's character can read. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of... I. I get to the door, I get, like, up to it, and I, st I pause, and I just kind of ponder myself what the hell I'm going to do while I'm here. Try to figure out what my goal is after all of that. 
maybe this math holds the key. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> Do I see Bird's character? Yeah. You there? I shout at Bird's character. Whoever. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I his think name. Bird just stepped away. Yeah, yep. I, I got a call. All right. Well, while we're waiting for him, Peck. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> uh, there's a 14 investigation. I mean, there's a lot of buildings in this part of town. Um, there's a lot of buildings in every part of town. Um, the walls are 40 feet high. Gonna try to be beehive. Hardcore parkour time. <laughs> hardcore, hardcore time. So you would like to try to climb the walls. The walls are pretty smooth. <clears throat> Parkouring. Is there like a building I can find just like basically parkour onto the wall? In the part of town that you're in, no. Shit. I can try to climb, but that's not really my forte. Okay. Do you have climber's tools? Oh, um... <clears throat> I have rope. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> I have rope. Okay. Give him the old rope-a-dope. <laughs> uh, how would you like to use the rope to assist you in climbing? Peck's not equipped for this. Peck's gonna stare at the rope for a little bit, look at the wall. What you're about to do is really stupid. <clears throat> nope. 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 And Peck's going to back off and kind of sit there stumped and run back into town. The guard calls after you. Is there anywhere you could go? Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> There's a bunch of hotels. Maybe they're not full yet. Do I look like I have money? No. <laughs> I'm gonna sprint off. I just wanted to judge it for my conscience. <laughs> Stops. Turns around. Let me in. <laughs> and fuck you. <laughs> 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 All right. Which, where are you sprinting to? Just so I know where to pick up with you. He's kind of lost at this point. He's just going to try to find maybe the characters he's ran into throughout the day. Okay. Maybe the big orc man he might be able to get me past. Okay. All right. Um, we'll come back to that. So the lizard man and the two humans are standing outside the academy. This sounds like a good joke. Let's go. <laughs> 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 Punchline. <laughs> so Bird is back? I think so. Is Bird back? I'm going to laugh. Did yes. I hear him? Oh, oh no. he's, he's talking. My dad dead yet? No, you're alive. Damn it. You could have tricked oh. him. Not in game. I mean, like, actually, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, as you're heading up towards the academy, I, I, I shouted at you Stop, you. I kind of just like briefly turn around and decide it wasn't meant towards me and just keep walking. You. Uh, I forget what your character's description was. <laughs> I, red I will... cloak. Red cloak. Stop. Kind of just like turn and look at him like, can I help you? You. You magic user. Yes. Send Jornak home. I have no idea how to do that. Where are you trying to go? He's an idiot! Don't listen to him! <laughs> I'll turn around to the guy who said that. You! You magic user. Huh? You magic user. Ah, uh, maybe. Maybe not. You can send your knock home. I mean, I can send you somewhere. Where? Eh, you want to go there. Why not? <laughs> eh, it's not that good this time of year. <laughs> I'll turn back to the red cloak. <laughs> you can send your knock home. Are we going until 8.30? Yeah. Okay. Is that to me or cheese? That was the red cloak. <laughs> oh. I where where is home? Not here. More specifically, 
I told you he's an idiot. <laughs> I, I, I take my claws like I scratch the, my temple. You're not, not sure. You're not taken oh. from home. Not oh. sure how to get back. All right. Well, I hate to tell you this, but if you don't know where you're from, I don't know where you're from either. That's why I come to School Academy. <laughs> <laughs> at this point, I'm like right next to him. <laughs> I'm just like looking at him, like, did he really just say that? <laughs> First, can I comment that your character so far sounds exactly like what I imagine you sounding like when you're dealing with IT problems? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm getting flashbacks to earlier today, and by earlier today, I mean three hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> Jarnak, uh, Jarnak, look for way get home. Jarnak, not know where to start. Well, typically, Jarnak. first we need to know where you came from. <laughs> Jarnak must find on map. All right, there's probably a map in the academy. Let's go take a look. IT my <laughs> I ain't missing this. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna go inside the academy in search of a map. Yep. <laughs> All right, Peck, you are running through the uh, the, <coughs> the market district, looking for the orc, and you find him uh, strolling along, um, following the. Oh no, he's not in there. He followed the parade. So you're in the harbor ward where the orc is strolling around looking for someone looking looking around, just taking in the sights. Mm -hmm. Gonna just walk right up in front of him again. Stare him up at him. Once again, as your character is walking along, he finds himself impeded by the sudden and surprisingly solid appearance of a small bird boy. Do I actually notice him, though, or do I continue walking? <laughs> I mean, make a perception check. Peck would backpedal super skittily if you kept walking. <laughs> it's okay, it's an 18. Yeah. You notice him. Excuse me. Hello again, little one. Oh, I'm going back to Xanar here. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there, little, little boy, girl. I'm not sure. Not sure. <clears throat> help? Mm. What do you need help with? I need to go home. <clears throat> um. <clears throat> and where's home? Guard, dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's, uh, interesting language for one such as young as yourself. Such as yourself. Um, how long I'm has it- really mine? Language. Oh, say that one more time, sorry. Oh, I just said, not really mine? Language. I think I understand. Uh, how long has it been since Cassius and I split ways? It's probably been about a couple hours. So I pro yeah, I, I said probably meet two hours, so would it have been around then? Well, it, it's, it just started to be a couple hours, because you spent some time in the different parts of town and followed the parade. Okay. So time's not quite up yet, but it's getting there. So... What I'll do is, I don't know where exactly their home is, so but I do want to kind of help them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the well that we had agreed to meet at, and I am going to draft up a note for Cassia specifically and leave it at the well. Uh, I, I think I just... Talk to you about uh, pen and ink, but uh, I don't think I added that to my equipment yet. Give me a sec. Ink. 
Hex just sort of following you is looking at you like, I'm confused. <laughs> How does that help the situation? Uh, I am, I have another obligation, but I have to inform someone that I am traveling with. I just need a moment, then I can help you. Oh. Understood? Yes. Okay, and um, how, how much paper can I add to my inventory, by the way? I don't know, like ten sheets, I think. Is... Three reams. Three reams! No, you can't have three reams of paper. <laughs> <laughs> the ten sheets? Yeah. Okay. Uh, then I'm gonna use a paper to leave a message for Cassius if he's not around. Is, have I seen him? Or is he around? Make perception check. What is up with these 18s? It is an 18 again. Uh, it is pretty close to the time, and as you're about to write the note, you see him sidle back up to the well, looking around, and when he catches sight of you, he rushes up. I haven't found anything interesting yet, other than that, perhaps a textile vendor in the market, but the market's not open until after the festival. Yes, I had been to the market as well, and I had, had been informed that it would be best to discuss with the merchants after the festival has concluded. But um, right now, I am going to be assisting uh, this little um, person. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> um, if, if you want, you can either keep looking around, or you may accompany me. Well, perhaps I can find out this merchant's name, and that would make our lives easier once the market is actually back on. Okay. Yes, if we have a name to uh, attach to this, it might make our investigations easier. So you can proceed with that task. I will uh, assist this little bird thing. I apologize. I don't know what you are. Peck! I will assist this peck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Why is he turning into John Wayne? <laughs> he saw a few movies, he could imitate them perfectly. Ah, uh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> Got it at the big screen downtown. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, that's the plan. Come along, come along. All right, I lead on start. so I can possibly assist you. <laughs> Not knowing what the plan is, Peck will start to lead. Also, Peck will stop for a second, turn around. Who are you? <coughs> they are asking me? Yep. Okay, um, my name is Beskar. He yelled at the wall again. <laughs> <laughs> Come along, come along. Hey, follow. Okay. He will trot off, leading you towards the district. Not really know what the plan is, but you're an adult, and you, he needs help, so... <laughs> I need an I adult. I need an adult! <laughs> <laughs> it's like when you're two and you get lost at the mall. You just find the most, like, responsible-looking adult. <laughs> yeah. You're old, you can help me. <laughs> Or you start crying. Or you start crying. <laughs> okay, so our academy group is at the academy. Ryan, do you want to do anything? They're gonna academize. Mm hmm, mm hmm. <laughs> I don't see what that's about. The school academy. The school academy? The school academy. Right. Start to pickpocket my way that way. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a fun campaign. Ryan. <laughs> 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 Faster than his walking speed. Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, so, as you're standing there deliberating uh, about what is math, where are you from, is this an academy, um, you see this scruffy little dwarf um, kind of sidling up. He looks pretty shifty. And as soon as he sees all three of you staring at him, he just kind of stops. Put my arms to my side and just start standing up straight, not moving. Just look at him. Can I help you? Know you? Nothing. Can't prove no nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Can I help you, no small dwarf? Negative. Don't 
comprehend some hey, of your words say. How much gold you got? <clears throat> how how much, not gold. enough to make you disappear. How much gold do you have? Me? Not enough. <clears throat> well, you'll find no gold from me, so be gone with you. Sounds like something with money would say. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, as he's sitting there trying to decipher, I'm going to try to just like hold a fireball in my hand. What school of magic is fireball? fireball. Not fireball. Uh, wrong word. Bolt. Uh, firebolt. Bolt. Thank you. Yeah, little difference. <laughs> Big difference. Yeah. Is that conjuration? Uh. <laughs> Extreme. Oh, they mentioned about the uh, the freaking spell casting within the city limits, didn't they? I thought it was just specific types of magic. I didn't hear that at all. <laughs> Which is why Amanda was asking, what type of magic is it? Uh, Book so of like Many Words says, as I scroll furiously through it and definitely remember alphabetical order. I've <laughs> uh, been sitting in there for like Okay. Okay. So you are able to conjure this little little tea light of flame in your hand. Oh. <laughs> Don't belittle his fireside. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, hey, I can do that. I can do something similar. And I just start trying to do light in my hand. Oh. Don't make his bigger than mine. <laughs> Light is also the location, a, though. I don't want to be magically magicated. <laughs> I mean, it's a cantrip. I'm, torch like, I'm thinking really hard about it. <laughs> <laughs> this is quite the standoff. Light, a firebolt, and a torch. <laughs> oh. Guess which one is biggest? Torch, probably. Probably. I mean, light's a 20-foot radius. <laughs> <laughs> Quite the uh, Mexican standoff we got going on here. <laughs> or only one of you has a gun. <laughs> <laughs> well, for insight, is Mexico a place? Pirates of the Caribbean, and conveniently, one of us is a pirate. Uh, <laughs> you all know it. No, you don't. You're leaving. We're continuing. What? I want to follow. I want to go to the school thing. Yeah, let's go to the school thing. Dick. <laughs> <laughs> the party bonds. <laughs> if you insist on increasing your considerably pitiful knowledge, you lead. Wow. Wow. Okay. I light him on fire. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, he kind of deserved it. <laughs> He's shifty. What do you want? <laughs> I mean, is the lizard guy shifty? Aren't I shifty? You don't even know who I am. I'm just here. <laughs> yeah, but the lizard guy like just kind of like walked up. The pirate man is just like he sat over there with his damn pirate or uh, parrot on his shoulder, just like looking at you gold, you know. Damn it! Everybody is shifty. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Peck is not shifty. You fucking take Peck's not here. Or is Peck here? I wasn't listening. Peck's, Peck's not here. Yeah. All I imagine is... Peck is too innocent to be shifty. <laughs> That's the Peck standoff is I'm imagining is everyone needs to... Saying a, a clubby looking dwarf asking how much gold you got. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was, I was a human heckling from afar. Yeah. I kind of just like look at his torch and it's like... I saw you just about break your own shin in the market earlier. I highly doubt you'll be more effective with a torch. Yeah, well, I've learned my lesson, all right? Yeah, you learned his lesson, all right? Make an improvised weapon attack. What? <laughs> oh, shit. Are you taking a swing? I don't know. Can I try and step between them, and then I take the attack instead? Sure, if Ryan's actually making the attack. I throw the torch at him. Okay, make an improvised, <laughs> make an improvised ranged attack. Hi, everybody. Are you? Hi, hello. 
Are you Hi. Wait. Range weapons? Damn, it wouldn't, this would be improv. There's no way. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just throwing it. I think this would just be straight decks without proficiency. But it's an attack, though. Yeah, so uh, a, a, an improvised attack that you're not proficient, you just do the ability modifier without proficiency for the roll. Sure. <sighs> so you would just roll and add decks. It's 19. Good throw. Plus dex. Plus two. It's a 21. 21. You want to step in the way of that? <laughs> I do. Okay. So as you throw this torch, the lizard person jumps in front of it. You take a point of fire damage. <laughs> Funk. <laughs> Go for the head. <laughs> and then the torch just falls to the ground and the flame gutters as it bounces on the cobblestones. And I stomp on the torch and try and splinter it. <laughs> well, shit. Because... <laughs> take away a torch. Yeah, take your torch out of your inventory, Ryan. Make a strength check at Co to destroy the torch with your feet. Fifteen. The torch is splintered. Um, oh, torch. It's still on fire, but it, it's not as nearly as pleasant to hold. Yeah, I was aiming for like the middle, not like the the burning part. <laughs> you, have a, you have a shorter torch that's still on fire. <laughs> Might be good Thank for you, my lizard friend. I I kind of snort in response. Well, that was anticlimactic. Why attack? So that was a terrible idea. Um. I just kind of wave, like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not doing too bad. How about yourself? Going <laughs> pretty good. It's on brand. <laughs> <laughs> Bolton 2.0. Right? <laughs> I was debating if I should break out the redneck, redneck accent for this guy, too, because that's the only one I can do. <laughs> I mean, I catch vibes every once in a while. I know, I'm trying not to. <laughs> hmm. So we done here. We go look map. Maybe. Eh. Worst things to do. Onward. As long as the dwarf walks first. Hey, right, you heard the man. Get in front. But I'm walking backwards and I'm watching everyone. <laughs> How often does it trip? So, so what's your dexterity there, uh, Ryan? <laughs> 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 the fucking dice are in his favor today. Ryan, this is going to be a really good time. I can feel it. So, the dwarf. <laughs> basically, the medieval equivalent of finger guns as he. <laughs> <laughs> ah, finger crossbows, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and turns around with like an I'm watching you expression, goes two feet, trips on a loose cobblestone, and falls flat on his ass. <laughs> eh, solid four. <laughs> I, I bend down, I scoop him up by like the, the scruff of the clothes, pick him up, turn him around facing forward, I put him down gently. <laughs> I immediately turn around and walk backwards again. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, make another right. dex check. Please don't be a one. All right. I got a betting <laughs> ring. He takes it another two feet before he falls again. <laughs> I, I did not hear what the roll was. Oh. It was three. It was three. Oh, my God. <laughs> so five. He, he, it's five now with your modifier? Yeah. Okay. So he walks backward a little ways, and he's actually doing pretty good until all of a sudden there's a building behind him. And <laughs> then he trips on the corner of the building and kind of like falls on his elbow as he stumbles again. I repeat, I repeat the same action. <laughs> and uh, scoop him up, turn him around facing forward, and generally place him down. Farther than I thought. I'll give him credit. Start rubbing my elbow, trying not to cry in front of everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, you're not oh, facing no. us anymore, so we can't see your eyes. <laughs> uh, uh, Ryan, I'm part. really excited to see how the rest of this plays out. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs>
Um, so a scholar at the academy has seen this. <laughs> I would love to be that guy. And as you are correcting the dwarf again on how to walk, he steps out of the out of a, a doorway. Um, can I help you? Yes. I get startled and I bring out an unlit torch. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just kind of slowly push like push it down. Like no 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 need for that now. <laughs> the scholar kind of backs away. Um. We're closed for visitors right now. Are you uh, students here? Yes. What? Student. Yes, I am. Uh, he's student. Are you saying, is the lizard, what did what'd you say, Atko? I said, what student? Oh, he student. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, the, stu- the scholar looks to you, to the human, back to lizard. Uh huh. What are you doing here right now? I look at the human. <laughs> uh, I need to use the library. Uh, everyone needs to use the library. But unfortunately, we're closed to non students right now. Are you a student? I am. What are you studying? Exactly. Why do you test my knowledge of D&D like this? (laughs) 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 What do you choose on character creation? This is glorious. (laughs) I'm studying evocation. Interesting. I'm studying evocation. I've never seen you before. Are you new? I tend to study outside of hours. Well, I've never seen you before. (laughs) And who are you? I've never seen any of you before. (laughs) (laughs) This guy, look at him. He's got you beat. (laughs) True. Is there something I can help you find? Oh. <laughs> Honestly, I'm good right about now. <laughs> Maps. We're students. <laughs> we don't have gold. Who? <laughs> okay, well, first of all, ouch. Second of all, <laughs> second of all, <clears throat> I can find whatever books I need at this time on my own. Thank you. And maps. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. The library is that way. And he points. Yes, I'm well aware. Thank you. Don't forget your student ID when you're walking around campus. You didn't ask for it. Well, I should have to. It should be around your neck, easily visible. Mm-hmm. I'm getting flashbacks to elementary school with the hall monitors. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I heard this in college. <laughs> yeah. Kind of saunter past with my lizard friend, and I forget what she's is because I'm bad. At I'm a human. a human. Okay, and the other human. <laughs> what about the dwarf? And the dwarf. The, the, and I, the, I'm, dry, the I'm dragging dwarf. the dwarf, and I give him like I give the student who gave us lip like a little face. <laughs> ah! And he kind of recoils back as he sees you baring your teeth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> You want see teeth? <laughs> no, I don't want to see your teeth. Okay. <laughs> I walk away. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <Whew. laughs> Successfully infiltrated. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Successfully failing. <laughs> we'll, no uh, skill checks required. <laughs> yeah. We'll jump on back to uh, Peck and the Orc. Oh, hat. here we go. This is like <laughs> this is like the weekly episode that I'm really waiting to see. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, on the B side, <laughs> look, it's not my. <laughs> you know, Padley created a pretty interesting little creature there, right? Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> Peck is awesome. <laughs> 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 uh... He's gonna be a bitch to play though. <laughs> you guys, you should 
his face when he's trying to come up with what words he can say. I, I imagine. Uh, it'd be, <laughs> I can imagine the strain. <laughs> so, Padley, I wanna I wanna thank you for not killing off Snurp because I would have gone Kenku. <laughs> Wait, what? I said thanks for not killing off Snurp. Because I would have gone, I would have gone Kanku for my backup character. <laughs> oh yeah, no, Kanku, yeah, no. The, the struggle on my face matches what the struggle is on uh, poor old. I, I can just imagine like really intense thoughts over basic there's, questions. There's a lot of effort. Like a lot of strain. <laughs> thoughts. Yeah. There's a lot of effort. Yeah. Face <laughs> yeah. Oh, perfect. Uh, so Peck will get. Uh, Oh shit, what did you fucking say his name was? Baskar. Oh, Baskar. Baskar. <clears throat> Peck will get Baskar over to um, near the gate to stop him like 100 feet short and turn around and look at him and be like, <clears throat> Kick. What, what do you say? The plan. <laughs> what the plan? <laughs> So, where do you need to go exactly from here? Points at the gate. Through. <laughs> okay. So, why are they not letting you through? <laughs> Dickheads. <laughs> <clears throat> that is the general consensus when talking about guards, but why are you specifically not allowed to go through there? You just gotta shrug. <clears throat> Let me talk to the guard. Mm-hmm. Nods. <laughs> All right, I approach the guard. Cat follows with a chest really puffed out. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that my dad could beat up your dad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, the guard looks up. I see you're back. And you brought a friend. Brought a friend. How can I help you, friend of Little Bird Boy? Yes, I understand that this little fellow would like to go home, and home is through here. Now, I understand you are not permitting him through at this time. May I inquire as to why that is the case? I don't want to be a dick. Dickhead. <laughs> please, 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 <laughs> quiet, child. It, it would make things a little bit more difficult to help you get home at this time if you were to antagonize them any further. Okay. Sorry. Please it's proceed. Fine. I was waiting for a sorry, dickhead. <laughs> Thank you for using your words, little boy. Dickhead. <laughs> 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 the reason I'm not letting him through is because I'm not allowed to. Does that make sense? Everyone who lives in this town, they know during the festival, if they live on that side of the gate, they stay home. They live on this side of the gate, they go out, they have fun, they don't die, maybe. Okay, well, I will say I am a little bit new to this town, so I am not quite acquainted with the reasoning as to why that would be. Because it's, those are the orders I was given, dude. I can't, I mean, I'm not from here either. I was just given this contract. I was told don't let people through this gate on the second day of the festival. If you do, they might die. If they live there, they can't come through. If they don't live there, they don't want to be there at midnight. That's what I was told to do. That's what I was told to say. No exceptions. Not even for this adorable little bird boy here. Mm. <laughs> Well, what kind of dangers would there be? Um, I mean, I think it's not the best idea to take you back to where you were supposed to go, but is it urgent you have to go there? Worried brusque. Is what? that an attitude? Is that like an emotion? What is brusque? Is that in the dictionary somewhere? Owns his own damn tavern, and that's the best thing that ever did happen to him. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, is it something that can wait until the festival has concluded? Bye.
I'm. Eh. <clears throat> Can stick to you. Well, if they were to have a proper escort through, would they be able to pass? No, sorry, I'm not allowed to open this gate. I don't know. I don't make the rules, man. If you don't like it, go find the mayor. I hear he's working the dunk tape game today. Nice. Hey, idea. <laughs> is it is it uh, to me specifically that he's saying idea? Or... No, Peck is now pointing at the guard <clears throat> that just said that. Mayor's work in the dunk tank. That was more Jersey than that. I can't do the Jersey. <laughs> Mayo's work in the dunk tank. Australian? <laughs> I can't do Jersey. I can't. Well, there has to be some sort of safe passage, but, um, yeah, if we there want... There is. The safe passage is tomorrow. He's gonna have to find somewhere to sleep for the night. I don't know. I this is just what I was told. If he really works, if he really lives there, he should know this already. Whoever mm. sent him out probably knows that too. It's my guess that whoever sent him out doesn't want him to be involved in whatever's going on back there. Okay. Well, I guess I will go talk to the mayor, and then if there's nothing on their part that they can do, I will put them up into a hotel for the night. Peck is looking noticeably worried. That's very kind of you, sir. I wish everyone could be as good of a Samaritan as you are to this little boy who has a lot of feathers. Dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't get old. It really doesn't. Peck will turn to uh, Baskur and just kind of stare at him and be like, <clears throat> Can I follow you? Yes, you may follow. And I'm gonna go be looking for the mayor wherever that location was. You said it was. I didn't quite catch it. I think we passed it. Mayor's work in the dunk tank. The dunk tank. Oh. I believe that was in the market. Oh, shit. Oh. Tech okay. Tech will nod and be like starting to lead again. Okay. We go do that. Yeah. Enjoy your evening and stay safe. Yeah, you too. I'll be fine. I have my sword with me. I have my sword with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to look at them. Do they have a sword? <laughs> guards? Yes, they're armed. No, 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 no. No, no. Not the guards. <laughs> the peck. The peck. The peck. <laughs> the peck. Do you, do you have weapons in your inventory? Peck has a spear. Peck has a spear? Not with him, he doesn't. Nope, it's probably at home, wouldn't it be? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Peck has potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> and a bag of onions and some meat. Them sound like throwing weapons to me. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Cut an onion in half, throw it at someone? Bingo. Tear gas. I don't know if Peck would have anything even borderline. Peck would well, have now more. I got a new idea for a D&D character. Peck Thanks, guys. <laughs> Reroll. got a beak. Beaks are sharp. You wouldn't see any weapons on Peck. You could always ask. Okay. All right, well. No, nah, I'm, I'm just going to, like... Say, I'm just going to chalk that up to he's just repeating the words. Because I, I think I would probably pick up that he's been repeating the words. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Half the time it's like to try to communicate. Half the time it's literally just to mock people and fuck with them. <laughs> Dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. We should all just get shirts that say that. Yes. Dickhead. <laughs> no context. Okay, no, yeah. No, this, no, no, we're going to no. get on... Hey, it needs a young Kenku on it that says dickhead. That, this is what we're going to do. We're going to jump on uh, TKO. Everyone's going to draw a Kenku, and it's just all yeah. going to be dickhead as the phrase. And, and I'm going to take the best looking one and make that my yes. unified person's picture. Exactly. So, yeah, I'll, I'll start trying to leave a score 
off toward the dunk tank because I remember seeing where that was. Yeah, okay. Bas- Baskar. Baskar. Okay. All right, and that looks like a leaks like looks like a good spot to leave it for this time. Woo! Woo! This is going to be interesting. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Oh, boy. I, I I felt discombobulated because I came in late. <laughs> Okay. I'm going to be honest, I'm really curious how me and Ryan's character is going to evolve. <laughs> I, can't get the, I can't get the idea of IT uh, wizard out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to pull an accent, but I don't want to look like more of an ass. Well, I mean, welcome to the club. That's the name of the game in a way. So you're probably Touché. Good. Touché. Don't worry. But also. I felt I've been... discombobulated and I was here the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> We do that. Yeah, we we I had actually made that meeting with the board because I thought we said six fifteen, and then I saw the message today, and I was like, "Well, yep. can't ch- can't change that meeting now." My my work schedule has been in flux this week because well, so an infant tested positive for COVID, so they had to send all the infants home. Oh. So there aren't enough teachers to help with the two year old class, so I'm helping with the two year old class. But now <laughs> I get sent home early because not a lot of two-year-olds are coming. So I found out yesterday that I was going to be home early probably today. <coughs> and then next week, this the rest of this week, I have to work at 7.30 instead of 8. And my usual starting time is 8.45 because the cook's husband <clears throat> has COVID. And she had to leave and get tested herself. Thanks. Um, Amanda? <laughs> Do we get to level up? <laughs> get out of here, Padley. Notice how we never asked that question on your campaign, Padley. I know, it's annoying. <laughs> we ne- but no. There was a couple of times I wanted to ask about uh, when the approximate time we would level up, but I try to avoid, and I quote, being a Dickhead. <laughs> he Kyle was like, just oh. having fun being along for the ride. <laughs> the only time I ever ask is like when the GM has like an incredibly hard encounter day and we're just like, all right, we killed like 30 enemies. Do we get to level up out of that? Oh, no, no, no. This is just day one. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think I did that to my Strahd group. Uh-huh. A couple of times, I think I've done that, and they're like, "Wow, this was so hard. Can we level up?" And I'm like, "No, nope, that's not how no. <laughs> That's how milestone works, guys. Yeah, you can't just grind out XP and get levels. Okay, what do I need in my level eight world? Which is really sad because in Skyrim, when I want to level up, I just go do some easy quests <laughs> and get a lot of XP and level up. Carla, do you have to be on the table? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone, yes. <laughs> yes. Did you want to see my teeth? <laughs> I do like the lizard. I like a lot of the characters in this game. <laughs> yeah, I've had the lizard folk accent um, way before this campaign. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 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 probably gonna be evolving my orcish accent over time. Justin, did you ever interact with Novnik in my campaign? I can't remember. Well, let me stop the stream here. <laughs>